Good evening and good at you, Team Nerd Herd Podcast. It's your boy Steve, aka Hip Hop's in me, and you're joining us for our Mondo Mail Call Show. With us today is our guest, Kev's Collectibles. Welcome, Kev. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, um, name's Kevin, and I'm com coming all the way from New Zealand and uh, Lord of the Rings country. And uh, I have a YouTube channel called uh, Kids Collectibles, where I um, do com comic book haul hauls on uh, Star Wars comic books, and also provide uh, speculation tips. And um, I'm a huge fan of the Team Nerd Herd crew, so I'm really stoked to be uh, here on the show with you guys, and I'm really, really excited to geek out with you on um, Star Wars today. Well, thank you for being a guest on the show, and uh, I'd like to give it a little puff, puff, pass over to my team, Nerd Herd Podcast Posse. What's going on, Alonzo? What do we got? You're on mute. Muted. Oh, you're on mute. Muted. Oh, uh -oh. Sorry about that. So, <laughs> oh, good job, Steve. Steve. Yeah. I pulled the Steve. Uh, but I'm so excited about today. We had so much news uh, coming from Disney. It's just like, oh, my God. I, I cannot contain myself, but I'm going to have to. And let's give it up, give it over to Mr. Uh, Bronze Ninja. What do you got going on? Yo, what up? It's Bronze Ninja, Fire Cell Comics here. What a day to be live, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, stoked yeah. to be here. Um, so, yeah, w welcome, Kev. Uh, I'm going to pass it over here to what looks like, oh, to my right, over here to Rob's Nerd Haven. Hey, it's Rob, <laughs> Rob's Nerd Haven on Instagram. And, uh, Long day, fucking tired. Well, let's move it up to Rogue's Law. <laughs> What's up, folks? This is Rogue's Law, JR, your resident asshole of the bunch. Uh, your Marvel nerd, your Star Wars nerd, and fuck, this is going to be a long night. We've got a lot of shit to go over. Uh, I'm going to pass it on down Cold to uh, Ian. What's hey, that? Cold Claw. Oh, fuck you. Oh. Fuck you, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> and what's up, man? It's is uh, Hood Rat Comics. Uh, you, you guys know me by Ian too. Um, welcome. I want to welcome our, our our homie from across the uh, Pacific Pond, man, out there in uh, New Zealand, man. It's it's good to have Kev. I know me and Kev always are talking on Instagram. He's always giving me some pointers of where to look, man. And where, when yep. I when I turn that that little rock over, I'm like, oh shit, man, found some gold. <laughs> you know, found some gold, man. Like so, totally. I I, I, I want to welcome Kev, man. He's he's been he's been a fan, man, since the beginning. Like in the teen, I think when we were in the teens or something like that. With teens, yeah, yeah. So first, I mean, first I, I, teen, I think, yeah. Right, man. So wow. I, I've been, I, I've been trying to get Kev on for a bit, man. And I'm glad he's on, man. So I'm gonna pass it back up to, uh, to hip hip hops and me. So are we gonna open this up with the mail call, or are we gonna take it down the rabbit hole, E? Man, nah, go we gotta get right into it, man. Rabbit hole, man. Nah, we, we, just we, rift this shit open. Hot. I mean, I, I mean, you, you're passing it to me, and I'm thinking like mail calls, schmail calls. <laughs> Let's get down there's, to it. There's more important things than uh, than, than what's going on with our mail call right now, but we're gonna get to that later, man. And it's gonna be um, we're, we're this this show's gonna be a long night, y'all. So um, I want y'all to to hold tight, man. Um, so you know, this is our catching up with the nerd herd segment, and then we we'll get into it, man. Look at that shit, man. Did that? How how much did that blow your mind? Crazy. Every the, oh, the fact that Kathleen Kennedy is still standing there blows my mind. But uh, <laughs> yeah. the rest of it, I was like, yeah. oh not even excited to talk about Say, any of this. Yeah, was, that's what we want about about you know the people running the thing. This is a fantastic lineup. Holy moly! Yeah. There's things here Jeez. we never even like dreamed of. You know, as a Star Wars fan, I, I don't know how you could not be just over the moon uh, by this lineup. Oh yeah, you're geeked out. I'm an action sure. fan in general. Nerd yeah, guys, and Jones too. We're like uh, in the true. This is a Lucas. This is a Lucas lineup, right? So Willow yeah. and Indiana Jones and what and is it Children like of Blood IP. and Bone? That's new IP. So she said something new, a new hero, a new IP. I would assume. Assume so. Um, let, let's so go. It's gonna be a woman. Oh, wait, okay. You know what? Before we really get into it, I want to give a, a shout out to um to our live chat, our homies up in there. So I want to see what's up to Raider Bear. What's up, my man? Another homie from across the pond. Copy 801, man, always coming through. Glad to see you again, brother. Um, I want to say what's up to, let me see here, our boy Jay, man. What's up? What's up, Justin? Can I put a pause real quick on that one again? Go ahead, bro. I got something that you guys don't know. I'm actually going to be on his show this Saturday. 
Oh, oh really? What? Oh, yeah. 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 Breaking yeah. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. I thought I'd put that be, out there. Oh, I'll be putting that in. I don't know what you're thinking, man. I will be, be putting that. I, I, I know. He, he doesn't want to have a show too long. <laughs> He's putting my ass on there. Every show <laughs> needs a villain. <laughs> Every show. There you go, man. Yeah, I'll be your yeah. Gargamel. You got that. You got that. <laughs> <It's your> Gargamel. <laughs> you know, man. Bro, give yourself the kingpin at least, bro. Uh, yeah, come Wait, on. He resorted to Gargamel. Well. Hey, I have a cat. What do you expect? <laughs> you Easy been been Doctor Evil. You could have been still for with Panthro for God's sake. It's our homie, man. De- uh, DZ. Pepper. What's up, DZ? What's going on, brother? Um, and we got our, uh, our our cousin over here, man. Azores Tar- Tiger. What's up, Eric? Um, yeah. I think I'm going to be seeing Eric next week. I think. Isn't that right, Steve? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. You yeah, know what's mark up? The oh, and, mark the calendar. And we got uh, we got JR's best friend here, Dark Raven. What's oh, up, fuck. man? AKA Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let me see here. We got Sparks, man. Always uh, hit up Sparks, Sparks, man. He's always he's uh, he does the FOC show mm-hmm. after our, our, our top picks. Uh, um, personal shout out to Armando Eric. And Armano Eric right here. We got Armano Eric. What's up, Armano? Um, and I think um, we are good, man. Let's get this going. So first thing that popped up, man, um, that made you guys, uh, you know, give up your uh, your your sacred juices. We got uh, <laughs> Andor, man. So what's up, man? Andor wants to start, it's man. Wants to start on Andor. I mean, hit hit us up, rogues. You know, you, that's it's in your name. Tell us. This is your shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. So uh, obviously. This is the best part of Rogue One. I mean, it's a prequel. It's a uh, Cassian. Is his Cassian, name? Yeah. Cassian, man. Yeah. Thank you. I always forget. There's too many damn names. But it's <laughs> supposed to be. A, I imagine it's going to be a prequel since he kind of is dead. Otherwise, oh, um, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. 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 Yeah. You know the yeah. uh, if you didn't watch spoiler. Rogue One, so I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's. I'm. I'm looking forward to this one. This one should be pretty interesting. Um, I want to see if if it's going to be two season. I'm hoping it's not too long of a show, personally. Um, just because only so far they can do the spy aspect of the same thing. But, but what book, about you guys? But the Could book you, to get is Rogue. Uh, uh, what's it called? Rogue One Number One. Rogue One Number One. Like, uh, it, it, yeah. One on eBay. Right. I mean, these books are these books are gone, man. You go on eBay now, man. So they're gone. K two is going to be in that show. K two is so yeah yeah oh for sure for I sure I think they'll right? find a way to put him in there because he 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 stole the show man he I thought he was better than R two D two and and C three P and all them well, man we'll he had that those for the show we got coming up out. Found one. I I really <laughs> think that this show could actually be quite dark as well because in the in the Rogue One series um you kind of learn a little bit of Caspian he's a, he's he's kind of had some um had to make some pretty dangerous decisions and sort of like uh take out some people some innocent people as well so it might get into that as well so it might be interesting to see that yeah i think we yeah. might see like at the beginnings of uh cassian where he's like frolicking in the flowers enjoying life <laughs> and something happens somebody kills, his girlfriend. And somebody kills cassian's girlfriend and then it just goes dark from there man cassian just like fuck the flowers <laughs> yeah, I think and Alan Tudyk. We may see some great. rebels in this too. We yeah. may see some from the cartoon. There has to be, right? I mean, uh, uh, I, I would think I I would think Sandula would probably be a good chance of being in here. Because yep. Sandula actually showed up in Rogue One, like they they uh, mm-hmm. they announced the her for, uh, the speaker. And yeah. Ghost was one of the ships that was in the final battle. Yep. Hey, Seth, how's it going, buddy? Seth, what's up, man? <laughs> Um, this is a big night for for All Star Wars fan. I know Sith was in, enjoying what was going uh, on, man. K two, um, K two, right? Yeah, I mean for sure. And then we got Obi One, uh, Obi One Kenobi, oh, right? Oh, I, I hate Kenobi. Right here, man. I cannot believe when they yeah. announced that Hayden Christensen was also going to be in this show. Yeah, you talking oh, about Hayden oh, Christensen, right? Yeah. So my, that, man. it's got to be yeah. as flashbacks. Yeah, here's totally. my theory about that. No, no, no. I don't think it's flashbacks. I think the Obi Wan show would be an excellent opportunity to also have a Darth Vader show, right? No. So you have two shows essentially bundled under the Obi Wan name, right? Where you have the Darth Vader comics playing themselves out, and you have the Obi Wan Kenobi comics playing themselves out. Vader's looking for all the Jedi. Obi Wan is shuttling Jedi's away. Your Harriet Tubman, so to speak, set up. 
you know? See, see, I was kind of thinking that they'd probably go on the fact with Obi-Wan kind of going, where did I go wrong? And kind of going yeah. with the flashbacks, doing that of seeing these little things that Hayden did or mm-hmm. Vader does. And going, like, that would be right. that's why I, should out, I would be so upset with that because I want Vader crushing like I want Vader crushing like like space door walls and stuff like that and killing okay, people Rogue left and one? right and just yes I want yeah. the end of Rogue One as a series yeah. as one but, half of that series and then you have your but, dark and your light but give I that think, to me and I'll give you all my money no I I agree with you I agree with you that's Indians the Vader we all know and love but I think they want to show another side of Vader to yeah. elevate him. They, they, I, everyone loves him as the badass. Now let's kind of see who he is inside. But, I've uh, never got enough badass Vader. You know who that is? His Facebook user. What's up, Al? Al. Patriots suck. You know, so um, my my thing is like um, this could be like the comic books that we're reading right now, like uh, Vader mm-hmm. and, and Star Wars, where they're once there's there's two sides to every story, right? So mm-hmm. I, I think I think what I think what uh I was saying is you know I or what you guys were saying, like I think uh, there's gonna be a little hunting going on because I don't know if it was you guys or if it was Kathleen Ke- Kennedy that said there there's gonna be an ultimate rematch, you know. So I what do you guys think? I, I, think I don't know how that would fit in the universe that we have right now. She's that rematch, you know. She, she did say rematch, right? The, the ultimate yeah, rematch. Said it, yeah. yeah. Said it. The ultimate rematch is not going to be Darth Maul and no. and, and no. Obi Wan. Yeah. You're right. They're going to have that one anyway. Vader hunting. I just don't know Obi-Wan. how they're going to do it with their current, what they currently have. You know, mm-hmm. like I, I don't think, at least in canon, and I know you guys are Star Wars guys, so let me know that there was another battle between Obi Wan that happened between. <laughs> there's room because it's very vague the way they explain it in the New Hope. So the way they word it in the, in the original films, I think there is a way to f- fudge that and make it canon, in my opinion, because it was very vague the way Obi Wan described. Uh, I hear an echo. Uh, the way uh, Obi Wan described how he encountered Reader, um, Anakin Skywalker last, we never really actually described he encountered Darth Vader or or that in that manner. So I keep hearing an echo. I'm not sure anybody else. And there's no way that if you think about like. Vader, and I haven't read the comics, guys. Maybe you guys can tell me. Maybe somebody can tell me in the chat. But like, you got Kev right here. <laughs> you know, like, uh, there's no way Vader didn't know. Like, somewhere deep down, at least Obi Wan was still out there. You know. Um, I don't think he did necessarily. I, I no don't recall now. at any time that he he knew Obi Wan was still alive. I think he did. Think he... At the end of the movie, he he knew he that. He has to know. Off. He has to know that. He My thing is like, alive. he's pissed, bro. He got his ass whipped. He wants to go get his, he wants revenge. He man. knows Obi-Wan didn't get Order 66. Yeah. And, you know, he knows that much. You know? So. Yeah, because they were not sure. Because they just, like, Tarkin said he cannot be still alive. But the Vader was talking to Tarkin in that one, one conversation. Vader made it sound like he still kind of possibly have known in the past that he was still alive, but he wasn't sure. So they might have never, I don't know if they ever encountered each other in the past, but we'll find out, I guess. When the, I, I'm when betting, the, if anything, it was more of a gut intuition or like yeah. when Force of users course. typically die, there's usually a ripple in the Force. Yeah. And he may have felt like because of his bond with Obi Wan, he'd be like, I never felt that bitch die. Yeah. So I think yeah. he's alive, but he doesn't know where or how yeah, or when. Find him. Yeah, find him. I'm, yeah. I'm with um, I'm with Sith here, man. Uh, I don't want it to get diluted either, man. You know, because uh, Favreau and Filoni are, are are kicking ass right now, man. You it's know, like yeah. he's hitting him out the park, man. He's yeah, a, yeah bro. Yeah. Like he's it's it's real Star Wars shit, man. I don't want to have. Come on, I mean, I I've grown to love Clone Wars a little bit, you know, um, maybe a lot more than when I first saw him. Uh, but th- those th- those they don't stand they don't stand up to what's going on with Favreau and all of them you know what th- what they're what they're doing right now Favreau and Filoni so it's, it's because yeah. they're fans that's the thing I think they're fans first and and then they kind of are a director second I think when it comes to Star Wars 
Mm-hmm. One would think that they would be advisors involved, executive producers. You know, if they're not the writers, one would think that they would somehow have their finger in the pie I, to make I, sure I that this guy. Any, I didn't put any there. I, don't mean yeah. I, I, I think probably because we know that there was a time <clears throat> a divide between the Disney camp and the Kathleen Kennedy camp. I think the compromise has been kind of Kennedy's going to stay head bitch. But Favreau HBC, and Filoni, HBC. Favreau and um, Filoni are going to be kind of like underneath. They're going to be running everything, making sure she looks good. Yeah, um, we can't have but, another Ryan Johnson situation at all. Well, see, that's I what I want to ask. Was there any announcement for uh, his trilogy? No. Uh, no. 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 Yeah, no. This has been a lot of, been a lot That's of what I thought. He's not getting a trilogy. Yeah, this better. right here, and it's kind of crazy we did this one first. This right here is everything. You know, this this particular show out of the whole suite of Star Wars shows that we just saw in the last clip is everything, at least my opinion. This is this is the one that I, as a fan of the sequel trilogy, and a fan of, you know, uh, you know the, not sequel trilogy, the, 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 the prequel trilogy, I should say. The prequel trilogy, the one I saw when I was a kid. This is what I've wanted to see ever since that they got the license. Mm-hmm. I wanted to see a, a Vader and Obi Wan back. See any and, any, the, any spec books for this? Any spec books for uh, the yeah. Vader series? Yeah, Star Wars one. number two. Star Wars number two. The yeah. Han Solo, oh. Chewbacca, uh, Obi Wan. Who else is out there? First appearance in number two. Well, there's what? also the uh, the Star Wars uh, that Marvel run with the, uh, book seventeen or something like that. With the, there's like a the Journal Obi Wan. Yeah, that's right. There's a whole bunch of uh, comics uh, in that journal. Yeah, that's right. And he leaves he leaves that journal with Luke, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. So there's there's a whole that's modern, right. That's the volume one of the current modern run of Marvel. That's yeah. that's the real spec stuff for Obi Wan. Totally. So say it again. Which one is that? Just for the audience, so they know. Oh, shit, I there, there's a whole me. bunch of different um, numbers. I, I can't think, remember there's them on the top of my head. There's a whole yeah. bunch of them, like probably 12, I think. Yeah, yeah, no. it's like after 15 and all the way up to like in the 20s of that Star Wars Volume 1. Uh, volume yeah. 1, the volume, sorry, volume 2 run the, in, the, in 2015. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about the uh, Obi-Wan like uh, solo series, the most recent, and the Vader most recent solo series? I'll the, for the both of the Vader series are definitely spec. I, I think Obi Wan Kenobi one wasn't anything. You know who I think is going to pop up a lot in this series is Darth Maul. I think he's he's all over this man. Darth, Darth Maul. Maul? Yeah, so? Darth Maul is going to. Well, he didn't actually. Well, I take that oh. back. He didn't actually meet up with Obi Wan until un, until you know, Rebel. Yeah, small, when, yeah. Yes, <laughs> you know. So, like, yeah. Well, yeah. the other thing is also you've now got we've got the Lando show coming. Yeah, you can yeah, you can put them all over there. <laughs> he'll be in. He'll yeah, be in style. Yeah, and yeah. he'll be. A- and the other thing is, I've heard that this show is only supposed to be a season long. Yeah, one shot. Okay. Huh. So don't expect. Is this the Obi One you're talking about? Obi One. Obi One. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Only one. Wow. Okay. That, yeah. That's what when they announced. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? The uh, Obi One. You and McGregor uh, said it too. So it's yeah, just, that's what he's going to say. One run, and that's it. I, I think we'll probably see Qui-Gon Jinn as well um, or, in the Obi-Wan series so. because, yeah, but well, yeah. the thing is um, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn actually knows um, uh, how to become Force Ghost mm-hmm. and there's actually quite a bit of um, uh, learning to be able to be able to do that. So um, I'd say probably uh, while Obi-Wan is in the desert, he's probably going to be chatting to uh, Obi- um, Qui-Gon Jinn and probably learning that the secret from him about that probably man just check mm-hmm. just remember that man like remember when uh, you could find those episode one books for in the quarter bins you know yeah. like and you could find rogue one in the dollar bins like damn man yeah you know like all in I that mean, little dark in that little dark era where all those became like sh- crappy books man they're all just spiking right now it's, it's you know who else might show up in this is yoda yes yeah you might, might be easy. like a, a mm-hmm. go like a a distance call or something like that. I hope Cad Bane sure. shows up, and we're going to talk about Cad Bane in a few. Oh minutes. yeah, <laughs> Cad Bane. I mean, he's a. What fly. if they cast a young Luke? 
It's um, good. I think they'll they'll cast um that guy from uh was it oh, so, uh, uh Winter Sebastian Soldier? Sebastian Sebastian Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian. So, Sebastian. Sebastian. No, Sebastian. Sure. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, but yeah. no, no, no. He looks like a twelve year old Luke. No, like it's a ten year old, twelve year old yeah. Luke. Someone oh, check, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be Jake Lloyd. Like a, yeah, Jake, Jake Lloyd. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, I'm or maybe, at, or maybe a young or, or young Leia. You never know, bring that little whiny little. I don't think we'll see Leia. <laughs> they could be Leia? doing we doing business with you know Coruscant or oh, sorry wherever she's from. I think he's going to be purposely staying away from Alderaan. But at the end of Rebels, at the end of Rebels, you you could uh, you know they had a scene where Obi Wan was just checking in on Luke, you know, a lot. So you never know, yeah. man. It could bring like a little like twelve uh, year old Luke just being a little bitch, you know, like no, you know. Um, I want to feel pain. How about the Bad Batch, man? The Bad Ooh, Batch. What you oh, guys yeah. Animated, so so freaking badass. That's all I have to say, man. Here's your yeah. Clone Spec Wars. Books. Just Spec in that Spec books. Come on, guys. So they they joined the they're with the Empire. So I wonder if they're going to be like the initiation of that one group we were specking on a while back. Uh, yes, yeah. Star. Was that it, was yeah. that Star Wars? Uh, Twenty-one. Nineteen. 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 Twenty-four. Right. Something like yeah. that. Star. Yeah. I have a couple Nin of those books, man. Nineteen was the first appearance. Twenty-one, I thought, was the first cover appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think so. And, uh, how about that? How about that sky high? That sky high um variant for what was it, Rob? Do you remember? No, was me, mile, high? mile high, mile high, mile high. Yeah, I think yeah, I yeah, yeah. It. hold on real quick. There, if you can get it, there's there's several. No, the no, there you talking about the one twenty five. The mile high we didn't get. Yeah, I don't know. I think Ian got it. You got the mile high? Mm -hmm. I think so. They they did a uh a, a kind of like a re, not a re-release, but they had some old stock and they put it back up um, to purchase. The only problem I have with Star Wars nineteen, I think uh, CBSI did a a show on um, that those comic books, and they found that the um, the 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 troopers that are in that aren't actually the clones; they're just normal stormtroopers. So. Um, I don't. Maybe that that comic might not be related to the Bad Batch. No, yeah, the actual yeah. the actual individuals are not the same, but uh, they yeah. actually the the origin of the, the group, different the name, specialties. Yeah, yeah, the name of the group is kind of the, it's basically the same group. It's just they switch around a little bit because the the writer for Star Wars got the idea from the Bad Batch um, short film from that yeah Star, Star Wars celebration. Yeah, yeah. I actually have it right here, guys. So. This is the one I was talking about. Let me put myself on blast. That's the one in 25. Oop. Let me see here. Yeah. This oh, one right here. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, nice. Because the story behind this is Aaron was listening at a celebration that was here in Anaheim in 2014. I guess Aaron was meeting up with Filoni, and Filoni yeah. gave him the idea about the Bad Batch. And then Aaron kind of stole the idea and went with. Uh, these characters in the book so i mean they, it's the idea of it right like um so because these basically, guys are kind of like bad batch guys right you basically know, so. the same fucking character they just rearrange the name a little bit yeah my my um, favorite character from the bad batch is um uh uh what's his name hunter and i think they used the guy from is it billy from the predator movie the the american indian with the big blade that's where oh, they, uh, yeah. yeah. That's where they he got the inspiration the from. The that's, yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. So I want to ask you guys about this character. Is this the same character as the one that's in Mandalorian right now? Because it, she, it, Shand. she kind of looks yeah. like it, you know. So she, uh, she's making a, she's making what was a, a, how would you call it, like a pre, return, into in the Star Wars? Because this is the Bad Batch when they were in. Uh, it's it's uh. During the Empire, right? The Bad Batch. That's what I, I kind of saw it as. Yeah, they, you know? Yeah, then it's the, the start of the Empire. Yeah. Yeah. So she's becoming a pretty uh, major character in this whole little um, Star Wars run, you know? Um, and then I'm going to ask you guys about this guy. Who is the hell is this guy? It'll be a math, that's for sure. You know? No At idea. first, I thought it was Cad Bane because I'm like, 
you know, you guys know, like, I'm all about Cat Bane. I was like, is that Cat Bane with the hat? But he's too he's blind in my Bane. mind, too. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for him to pull the hat off and throw it like a, like Jaws from a Dr. Uh, no. You mean Odd Job? Uh, odd Job. No. no. He's a, he's a Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that was, that was uh, it. Yeah. Shout, yeah, yeah, shout so, in. I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. I want to see if you guys knew if I if if we don't know, then hmm, it, it's just, probably a new character. Probably a new character right there. For me, for the face, but I don't know. He's wearing a Filoni head as well. He's <laughs> kind of in disguise. Like he you know, he kind of reminds me of like remember the the um, the, uh, the 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 Jedi hunters, right? I forgot what they call him, like the seven the sister and all the inquisitors. Yeah. Right? He kind of reminds yeah. me of the inquisitors, the, the 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 big buff one, you know. Um, oh yeah, the real, yeah. real, yeah, yeah, big guy. The real yeah, yeah. Big guy, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's what he kind of yeah. reminds me of, and I'm like, did so? What happened? You know, like, uh, did they he did he did he come back? But he got smoked in uh, in Rebels, right? Yeah. Um. So. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting, man. Oh, and moving on, man. Um. How about this one, Lando? What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm Dark surprised Paul. on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was that was badass, yo. We're just yeah. knowing that yeah, that was coming. I mean, look at Kennedy, dude, looking like a Sith herself. Look at that sky. I know. Her <laughs> Don't insult me. Like I it. hate her with a passion. I know, really. Do not do. insult the Sith. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was just like fucking cat thing, bro. Like whatever, dude. You know. So. She's your queen. I, I she, your queen. No. she never knew about all the legacy books, novels, or anything, and it took Dave Filoni and Favreau to actually educate her about the book. <laughs> and then suddenly, she like when she first came on board, she goes, "Oh, we have no material on Star Wars. We have to start from scratch." And then yeah. suddenly, she made a, a press conference uh, thing not long ago, saying, "Oh, now we've got all this new material from the books, etc." She she's never been a Star Wars fan. She's yeah. a really good producer. Yeah, but she knows producer. nothing well, about Star really Wars producer. at all. I uh, she's a great producer, but nothing about Star Wars. And I think they got got to get rid of her. Eh? She's really a no taker. Yeah. She yeah, she'll be out on the next Silver. as soon as her yeah. contract's up. She's a manager, man. She doesn't, you know. She just tries to manage everything, I guess. You know, uh, yeah. put Feige in there, bro. Just put Feige. She, yeah, she reminds me of like Al Davis of the Raiders. She's there because she has to be, not because we want her to be there. No, but Al Davis, at least when he was young, he actually had good ideas and he was good at this. Well, she had good good. ideas when she was young. No, that was all Spielberg and Lucas, man. They just carried her. But anyway, Lando, at least, is going to be the closest we're going to get to Solo, to a sequel to Solo, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see Solo for sure. I'm looking forward to this, especially if they keep Donald Glover in it. We might see more. That's right. More. Yeah. I want to see Kira. Well, yeah, uh, Khaleesi. We'll see Khaleesi yep. in there, man. Yeah, because she she's oh. in the cahoots with Maul, isn't she? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, she'll oh. be back for sure. She oh, has. You to know what I want to see? You know? uh, motherfucking uh, the uh, with that that gang with Empire of the Sun that brings brings Sigurd. Black Sun. Yeah, Black Sun, dude. That'll be shows on the Empire, bro. Yeah. I oh, know that. And one Dash thing kind of interesting is they bring in uh, Shadows of the Empire. Yeah, that's Rendar, bro. If they go in that route, that would be a kind of cool route to do. Get your I Shadows mean, of the Empire number one right now. Plus, let's be <laughs> honest. We all want to see Lando doing his pimp. I mean, it, it's, just, it's in space. Yeah. I just want to see him sit down and play cards. You know what I mean? It's yeah. down and then maybe like format it to a scene of uh, smooth space pimping. This you guys, re- did, did, did you guys like the child Gambino I, as uh, as Lando man? I I I wasn't into it, man. You know, I, I like okay. it. I, like I didn't watch the you movie. Guys, well, he's he's into robots, isn't he? He's not just into women. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's, he's a, a robot lover. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They should get uh, Billy Dee. He man. starts. It would be. It's just crazy, man, because you have to start making love to the the Millennium Falcon <laughs> now. You know, like it's it's like yeah. Yeah, just, just, well, we might rest find against the wall and everything. We heavy. Might find out who his daughter's mother is too, because remember in the the last movie that chick was his daughter do- was possibly. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh mm-hmm. uh, okay. So that'd be interesting if they kind of drop that little Easter egg of <coughs> this chick's in that she shows up in there. Yeah, that'll be awesome, man. 
you know that that would be something to look forward to. Uh, but you know, uh, spec books for this are like Marvel Comics Super Special number sixteen that Rob found for cheap at uh one of the the honey holes I took him to, and then uh, Star Wars forty three. You guys have you guys checked any of these like yeah. Star Wars forty three if it's hitting or not? Because that's such an old. I mean, that book's been that's around old, forever. Dude. Yeah, you know, it's been around forever, and it's always been like a ten dollar, fifteen dollar book. You know, like even with Lando showing up in you know solo. Um, it's also got think, Boba Fett in it too. It does it, huh? Yeah, Number, yeah, it would, huh? Sky, Sky City, yeah, huh? Because uh, he first appearance is forty two, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So he shows up in forty three, huh? So that's the second appearance, or yeah. it could be as if you want to, you know, uh, count. That Marvel Comics oh, Super Special yeah. that would be his third, you know. Yeah. So that's yeah. strange though, huh? That that book that book hasn't popped, and it's uh, actually Boba Fett's um, second appearance in a comic, in a you know standard comic, you know. So hmm. I know. I mean, I, I haven't even checked, man. I haven't even checked, you know, the prices on eBay and what's happening. Um, but I don't know, man. You know, uh, looking uh, forward to this. And what do you guys think about moving on, man? Um, the next one, uh, uh, JR's girlfriend uh, announced. Was, what uh, decade? Uh, Indiana Jones, man. So it's got to be the 60s, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's the fifth installment, fifth, right? Yeah, or sixth? Late 60s, hippies, the Beatles. What are you going to do with this? Uh, Indy with a walker? For sure. I mean, he might have that same you know, twist to the wrist with the whip, you know? I think well, he she did say. Him. She did say Harrison Ford actually is acting in this, so you'd yeah. think he'd be passing the torch on to someone else, maybe, but I don't know. Maybe flashbacks when he was younger? I think they could do flashbacks and introduce a young actor that he plays Indiana Jones so they could yeah. spin that off to a TV show. On the, the thing is, though, they tried that before because Shiloh was oh, supposed to Shiloh in the booth. That, that yeah. was his son. That was his right, but they wanted, they were grooming him to take over the indie name in the franchise yeah. but he's too crazy to do that now Be between that and then we've already tried to replace harrison ford once in solo when you saw how you can't well do it man you can't but do it was it. it was really the writing that, that sank that film not it was not no, the actors it was the, it was the, the aliens that really sunk that shit it's the ufo it's thing the aliens. yeah the writing the writing shyla is coming back i like shyla uh, not as as coming back i think, think right about it he, he didn't. He was also in Moon Knight, right? Which they so missed on that. I can't stand that, though, man. man. I'm one that can't stand that dude, bro. So <laughs> he, he wants redemption. LA, <laughs> he wants redemption. He he'll come back without the cigarette pack in his sleeve, and he'll come back and be an actual adventurer. That the only, like I said bar. before, in the show. Put some bars in the show. The only movie I liked him in is in that fucking tank movie with uh with oh, Fury. Uh, Fury. 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 Yeah, he was That's good in that. Movie. That's a great movie. Yeah, great yeah. Movie, yeah. Man. awesome what? movie. Yeah. You seen yeah. that new uh, that new film about the cartel and he puts like a hitman in the cartel? Who? Shia uh, LaBeouf. Yeah, that should have stopped. Oh, I, can't see that. I heard Peter Falcon you know, was good, but I haven't seen. What it. What fucking movie was that? I've heard I, you know, I said I can't see no. that. Uh, I can't see it. He he's also done he's also done artsy movies full nudity as well. He's you mean he's done porn? Yeah, literally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That movie, you see his yeah. meat and two veg and everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sounds like Helmet. your movie, uh, Alonzo. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, yeah, especially that response. Oh, the, the tax collector. Uh, he hit a, he, the tax he got, collector, yeah. Look at that. He got, body, he got, he got body tats for that cartel. Movie. What is it called? The trash tax, collector? Tax okay. Collector. It, Okay, I will. I will watch out on uh, that. Have to that check that out. On a thing start starts with K. I'll go watch that tonight, man. Um, right. But uh, yeah, man, Indiana Jones, man. Let's see, man. I don't think you can ever uh, replace uh, Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford, man. I just don't. It's it's not Harrison Ford. If it's not, it's not a Harrison Ford. Yeah. The only one that could have replaced him died years ago was uh, Phoenix. The Phoenix kid, yeah. Yeah. I want Star Lord, man. Could Star Did you guys oh. mention Star Lord? Wouldn't Star Lord be a good Indiana Jones? Yeah, it would have been a good guy. choice, too. Yeah, that's a fucking that's a right move. Get Star Lord up in there, man. Yeah, you know? He could do it. You gotta have that, that kind of swag and and be kind of funny at the same time, man. He, he does that shit all the time, you know. So 
But we should work for uh, Disney, man, and start casting these fucking things, and th they make some money, man. So we fire the first day. <laughs> <It'll> be, <laughs> they're like, there's the door, like, and we're walking in as we walk out. <laughs> now people would be like, "Bring back Kathleen." I know. <laughs> but uh, then you know, uh, uh, the man uh, Kevin Feige brought this up, man. Oh my um, god, oh, dude. crazy! Yeah, it was like nerdgasm, full release. That was it for me. I was just like, yeah. Oh God! What happened? <laughs> Wasn't there a couple more Star Wars ones of them? There was. There was. There was man, but about Ahsoka there, uh, Jr. Yeah, I wanted to yeah, talk was, about. I'll be all new Ahsoka's coming, man. What, what else? Uh, what I we Ahsoka's Ahsoka. coming. Ahsoka. We Rangers talked about the new Ahsoka Republic. Republic. Jr. clenched his fist. Jr. clenched his fist while they announced it, though, for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of Thrones show. It's but this is the thing, right? Jr. Jr. is complaining about not having no Ahsoka. Then he's gonna start bitching about you know Rosario Dawson, and then we just go down that rabbit hole, you know. So, <laughs> I, I actually mean, she's gonna be in another series as well for Alkalites. <laughs> I want to know what you guys thought who that was. Yeah, about. they they uh, mentioned uh, that it's it's during the High Republic era, and they they're, they're oh, um, looking yeah, at the uh, dark side of things. It's it's which would be interesting. Yeah, no, it's those fucking pirates. That's the new villains, right? High Republic. Right, but I bet you they're alkalites of the Revan thing of the whole Revan. The Re Revan chests, Revan chests. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You think they're ever gonna bring Revan into the into the mix, man? Yeah. Adam, oh Adam yeah. yeah. It's a ne it's inevitable they'll bring Revan in. Yeah, and Malik. So when they did, I guess the art book for the last movie, the end where uh, the Emperor yeah, has down like in the throne room. All the sections of all the Sith were named after different Sith lords. Wasn't Malak in there too? Malak was one of them, and Revan was one of them. Yeah. Um, so they do acknowledge them as being part of canon. Um, I think Bane was another one that they acknowledged. Uh, so I think. Is, maybe? So I don't DZ, know. DZ asked, "What your thoughts on Rangers?" Yeah, it's called Rangers, Rangers of the new, the new of the Republic. New Republic. Yeah, it has the Is coolest name the out of the bunch. Uh, Cara Dune. Cara Dune. Oh, Bounty. Bounty. That's, that's, that's probably Bounty Hunters. That's gonna be all the all that shit. No, Cara Dune. I mean, I would love to see some sort of Jedi sect that we've never seen before. No, you know, Rangers. The new Republic the makes me think Jedi's. I know. think it's I think it's a uh, fucking what you call it? not resistance, but um. Uh, the rebellion. But you know what's funny though is like um I didn't see Felony or Favreau's name attached to any of this stuff. You know, like it was just you know no, directors from specifically they, which ones? Ahsoka? Bad Batch yeah, for specifically sure. Ahsoka, Ahsoka and Ranger. Okay, Ahsoka was, and Ranger. She, okay. So the way she led into it, or whoever led into it, they were like the Felony and other dude. Two shows from them, and they okay, said Rangers you. and Ahsoka. Did they and show? Any, I, I did. I missed Ahsoka and, and Rangers section. Did they show any any clips? Uh, or did they show the? They just, no. they just showed no, the. No, uh, the no. So they they made the announcement, and then there was like two or three minutes a uh, countdown, and they showed nothing. Right. There was no trailer or anything. Right. It was really disappointing. Yeah. DZ agrees. Jedi Rangers. That's exactly. I'm it, thinking like Lord Lord of the Rings. You know, Aragorn yeah. meets Jedi. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll it's gonna be the Cara Dune show. Watch. Yeah, that's that's, that's they're gonna put Cara Dune on Rangers, and they're gonna put Ahsoka and Thrawn on on the other one. Fucking well, this is it's just a crazy day, man. Look, DZ just reminded me, man, the, the Mandalorian's on tonight. After all that shit, man, that just yeah, went yeah. down. Oh yeah, that's what I was just gonna say, man. If 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 the get wasn't good, tonight's it. I mean, that's like lights out. Put the TV show, watch yeah. it, wake up in the morning, and just be like Grace walking into Friday, sliding in, sliding in like damn. And, and I agree. Cara Dune Dune is crazy. not New Republic, you know. New but Republic that, is is Jedi before. It, it, yeah, no, oh, no, 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 no. Nice, Rob. That's, That's a beautiful book. Beautiful book. Yeah, but okay. But yeah. Ray, well, if, if, when I hear Republic. Rangers, when I hear Rangers, that that means just badass motherfuckers that go out and do their thing. Yeah. No, the That's what I, yeah. I, I hear because you said Lord of the Rings, and I remember like the Rangers from like uh, um, uh, Game of Thrones, right? This is bad motherfuckers, bro. They just they they go where no one wants to go. 
think right? that the rumor yeah, was they, that take, they take those jobs. Yo. They take nothing, brother. Like, you, you, yeah, need, like, me we'll to, you, you need to be going to the fucking can't call it I'm going. Rangers and then give us like Cara Dune, like small town cop. She was a shock trooper in the, before. Shock trooper, yeah. So those shock yeah. troopers are yeah. she, 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 going to. I think they're setting her up. They're giving her the the share of things so they can go, hey, she has some experience in this. How about this one? Three general called Rangers. I have never yeah, heard I, that in all no, the time I've read comics and everything. I've heard, I've heard of it. No, it's <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but why not a deputy bubble fan with power <laughs> doing shit? The I, Jedi I Ranger. Think, I'm I'm calling it now. I still uh, think by the end of the Bubble Fat is dead. I think it's Bubble Fat. I think Bubble Fat dies right into Mandalorian season. Season two. I, I think so too. I think but so he, too. I think Bo- Boba Fett dies in the Mandalorian, but yeah. I think that's what. I reckon the heat like uh, disappointed by Disney is not they didn't have any uh, more Fett show. Anyway, so guys, I think they're heading to Camino. Actually, they're heading to Camino in the um, for the big showdown in the Mandalorian season. Um, that's where uh, uh, Pershing is. The you, you want to go to Camino? The Camino. That's where I think they're heading. Wow, that may be, that makes sense. Yeah, that's where. And, and if they do kill Boba Fett, obviously he's got other clones of himself there. Um, maybe they get a new younger guy to take over and become the new Boba Fett or something. I don't know. Well, I, I think we're gonna get the Boba Fett rumored show. I think is gonna be Boba Fett crawling out of the Sarlacc pit to when he shows up Mandalorian. That's. That's what I want to hear about because I'm like, how yeah. the fuck did you get out of there? How'd you lose your armor? Yeah. How'd you become this badass sand person well, now? Yeah. I mean, I just can even with the Razor Crest being shot down or blown up. Yeah. We're gonna have to get a new ship, and why not give him Slave One? Yeah. And rename it. Boba Fett's got other ships too. He's got the Slave Two, Three, and Four, I think, as well. But yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Water, it's a, such an icon, iconic ship. Yeah, man. I, I just, um, I, I was, I, like I said before, um, I was kind of not happy enough about them not announcing anything about Boba Fett. But I think Boba Fett's going to have a little adventure with Mandalorian anyway, you know, in the next three, ep- there was no, two more episodes left. Two. Enough, right? yeah. So yeah. it's the Boba Fett show, the last two, you know? So yeah. hopefully, you get Timmy or Morrison. Timur Morrison, he, he's a New Zealander as well. Um, he's he's pretty old. I think he's nearly sixty. So um, yeah, they they they'd have to use. Uh, well, you know, in the latest um, uh, episode that we saw, I'm pretty sure one of the, some of the fight scenes were, must have been done by a stuntman because it didn't look like him moving around like that. Like right at he's the end when he's got all of his armor on, that wasn't him. I, I don't think that was him doing those stunts. Yeah, he still had the, the gut. He had the gut. Yeah, and that was good. Yeah, yeah. they were yeah. padding on him. Dad Boba. I, I tell, I'll tell you something really. I'll tell you something really interesting. So Timur Morrison is actually um, um, an ad- indigenous Maori person from mm-hmm. from New Zealand. So obviously it's like the American uh, Native American equivalent. And you know that when he was using the gaffy stick to to kick the crap out of those stormtroopers, the style he uses is actually the uh, Polynesian Maori traditional spear fighting technique called Tayaha. So he's wow, actually cool. um that, that yeah, that's, that's cool. an actual fighting style. So it's really cool to see that. Yeah, yeah. that was such an amazing scene, man. Yeah. 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 Mowing so those, mowing those yeah. freaking troopers down. Yeah, smashing the helmets. Amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah. So to go back a little bit, Je- Jedi Rangers have a tie to Tython according to the Wikipedia online. Yeah. And Tython is the planet we were just on last episode? Just putting it it's, out there. Yes, yeah, we'll the bir- the birthplace of the the Jedi Order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The Jedi Ranger is a term that refers to a Force sensitive person who's completed studies in Tython. Yeah, so yeah. let's go. Yeah, going back to um, going back to uh, uh, Boba, like when he when he stabbed that when he stabbed that uh, that stormtrooper. Um, he looked like he was doing the haka, man. I was like, is he doing the yeah, haka right yeah. there? He's like, yeah. that was kind of like an OD, man, to the Maori. So yeah. 
I think he said that in an in an interview or an article that he was using that as a um, inspiration, the the Haka uh, Mary War Dance, yeah, for those scenes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you guys don't know, just uh, YouTube Haka man, and I mean, you have you've done the Haka? I mean, everybody yeah, that grew up in a, um, Zealand learned the Haka. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah. it's part of the culture here. So we have a a, a big sports team, the All Blacks. Um, which play play rugby and they're like uh, oh, one yeah. of the best the best win to loss ratios of any uh, any sporting um, team in the world, and um, they always do a haka um, before like it's a, a a challenge dance, so to speak, um, at the beginning of the um, uh, the game. So it, they're quite iconic around the world for that. Yeah. 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 I watched uh, this wedding and I saw. Um, I watched its wedding and I saw um, them doing the haka at the wedding and the the, the 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 bride was watching them do the haka and she was crying at the same time. Yeah, yeah she was she, time she and doing the haka him, with them and I was like, dang, that's, that's tight. Yeah, it's yeah. passion right there. Have you seen that? Have you seen that on YouTube? I was like, damn, she was doing it with them. She was kind of like yeah. this. Well, when, like they, this, when they when they slept like, when they slept their chests and then they put the arms up. When they put the arms up, it's like calling the ancestors up from above and bringing them into their body. So they can perform. That's that's kind of uh, what that means. Yeah, that's amazing. That's dope, man. Yeah, to get yeah, you I mean, high I, for sure. Yeah, I grew up and that's what pumps Hawaii. them up. Yeah, I grew up half time in Hawaii, and we would have some Maoris. Uh, they while well, we we it was you know May Day is a big day in Hawaii, and uh, we do our dance, and then the then the Maoris come up and do the haka, and we just get all pumped, man. It was dope, dude. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But but all right, we ready to talk about all this, man? Are we ready? If we must. Yeah. Are we ready? Are just, we ready? Yeah, just belt in and get ready for the ride, man. Sure. Big news, man. So what do you guys think about this news, man? Like, uh, it's confirmed. We got an American oh, yeah, dude. Oh, that is... we, we've been talking about this character for so long. I am so happy to finally see her on the screen. I, I think it's going to be great. Seems yeah, really a weird one of it for the show, though. Strange. No, it, it's she's actually from a multiverse, so she's a character that doesn't there didn't exist in six one six. Oh, I know, I know. So uh, it just, I mean, I, I get it. I'm just saying, it just seems a weird for Doctor Strange. I understand it's multiverse and all that, and they're gonna bring a bunch of characters in. It just seems weird. There's plenty you of keys. Rid of your one of everybody 50s. knows it. Everybody yeah. knows their keys. What's up? You got rid of your one in fifties, man. Too you know soon. what? From, no, no, bro. I, I still got some, man. I still got some America Chavez's. You know, I got, I, some, I, I got some up. I got some up my sleeve that I found. So, so, I, yeah. Speaking of that one, I actually had Vengeance number one, the variant. Oh, I dang, it. wow! I it before all of this, and really I'm feeling myself. I mean, I made my money. I don't get me wrong. Sure. I mean, I made, I made some money, but I'm like, oh, I should have held it. I should have held it. I have a couple Store of away for the rainy five. day. I have a couple of one over twenty fives, and I actually found a, a one in fifty back again, Nick. So I actually got it back for like twelve bucks or something. I'd like to talk one. about is now the time to get rid of these books, or is is trailer possible trailer. stimulus time to, time to get rid of these books? I think trailer. Oh, man. We, could, we could talk about that afterwards. <laughs> I, I my thing is trailer. trailer. You know, we have the announcement, trailer. and then the trailer is going to make everybody so stoked, bro. Hot you know, yeah. like. But and it's if you the question if they have money in their wallet. Of course they will. People still got I, people still do, man. Like people don't give a fuck. About it. I'm everybody everybody that was on the Disney investor like video or whatever are on eBay right now buying all of this stuff. Yeah, so it's all, all gone, cheap. Dude. Yep. So Not I mean really I mean right now, like well, we'll we'll get back into when once we yeah yeah check out some other slides, but oh my god! I mean, but this is a perfect for her her entrance into the MCU, right? The multiverse, because this is yep. what she does, you know. So, yep. Um, yep. Yeah. So, I think just I think hold, 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 trailer, boom, you know. And then we got Loki, man. What'd you guys think about the Loki trailer? We got a couple oh, ones. What is this TVA, man? Help me out here. What is this? The, the time uh, variance something. It, so this is the something. is this the first appearances in like time a Thor variant book, association. Right? The yeah, they, they, they're they're in a Thor book. I think Thor two hundred some odd, whatever. It's a, it's a Thor book. or Fantastic Four? That was Fantastic Four. No, it's a it's a Thor book, man. Uh, the time variance or whatever, yeah, man. Time variance authority. authority. There was a student there. Authority. 
Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Productive. There we go. Time variant authority. I will look that shit up right now. Yeah. Time variant, got but this, I thought this was one of the weaker trailers. You know, like there's a lot going on. It was like, oh, look, Owen, Owen Wilson. That's cool. Um, wow. But I thought, I th- yeah, wow. But I, th- <laughs> I thought this was one of the weaker ones. Um, that being said, it's a lot of interesting stuff. You know, but see, uh, when it's, it's Loki, you can't trust what you see. Hmm. Loki's going to be, I think, if they do it right, should be a show that's going to switch. That's You're going to watch one episode, then you're going to watch another episode, kind of playing the first episode in a different perspective. So, And then one of the things, too, that was rumored is that Tom Hiddleston isn't going to be in all the episodes. So he's only going to be in a few of them. Um, they, the rumor has it there might be a kid Loki as well as a female Loki. Um, that's going to be up here for a number of episodes also on this particular show. Yeah, that could be I can interesting. I can see that. And that was the best shot of the whole thing. When he was like, like, looks like he's running for president. Yep. I'm like, oh, okay. That that was the interesting little thing at the end where I was like, eh, it's salvageable. Let, let's see where they're going, you know? So uh, what, what book should we look out for, man, for uh, for for this show? The, the Loki series that came out. That's the one you want to look for. Mm-hmm. And that wow. is. Go ahead. And uh, what year was that from? Oh my God. 2000 it's... something. Yeah, oh, it was it's, re- stored. it's relatively recent. Thor 371, Thor 372. Yeah, but then he Thor. actually had his own like series for a while. Yep. He had a mini series and then he had a normal series. So, uh, 2014, man. I don't know if he's serious from 2014. Here's the one to look out for. And I think it was like uh, Loki, Agent of Asgard number two. It's one to look out for, like uh, the first appearance of Verity Willis. Um, And this is where he like shape shape shifts into a woman, right? It looks like it's a 2019 Um, series, though, right? Or 617. It's not the 2019. No, it's it's a 2014 man. Yeah, um, yeah. So I, I I actually I think I actually like this. I mean, I like this uh, the whole trailer for this. This is the one I enjoyed most for the Marvel. Um, but uh, yeah, open it up to the Avengers and then him going boom. Just oh, that was dope. Starting you, from there, you knew I was, it was like, coming oh. though, right? You knew when you when when uh in the in the last Avengers when they when they showed that that was just a, a segue to his own show, man. You know, like you knew it was coming. No, perfect. You know? Perfect. Another one that's interesting is this "What If" series, right? What do you guys think about this? this animated, yeah, uh, animated, right? <laughs> yeah, I was a huge fan cool. of "What Ifs" back in the like '80s and yeah. '90s. Oh yeah, you brought it back yeah. up. I mean, this is going to be fantastic, and it's going to open up a lot of this whole like multiverse that that Disney's or that Marvel's going to be doing, so they can dabble in a lot of these things. Which I know one of the specs out of that was supposed to be the Peggy Carter. What if she was? Yep, Captain America, yeah, Captain America, which is Exiles number three? one or number three? I thought it was number one. Uh, uh, I don't think it was number one. Uh, I thought it was two, but we'll have to look. We'll have to look. But yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's Exiles three. Generation of the Exiles. It was three. I have one. It's three. It's what? Yeah. It's three. It's three. It's three. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I you've got one. that. You've also got. I believe I remember hearing that Chadwick Boseman recorded voiceover for an episode of this too. Yeah, it's his last appearance in a Marvel uh, thing. Will be on What If. But on the in, in, the, in the book, he's she's dressed as Captain America, but in the cartoon, she was dressed with the Union Jack on her outfit, so it's different. Yeah. So T'Challa mm-hmm. uh, becomes Star Lord, huh? In What If, I, yeah. I, I didn't read that. So. Um, yeah, and that's the real actor uh, doing the voice. Um, yeah, Chadwick. Chadwick. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's gonna be awesome, man. I, I kind of like. I kind of like this, man. I like this. Uh, I like that they're doing it animated. You know, they can take a. They can take a lot more. You got uh, to see the Marvel water, zombies, too. guys. Yeah. Marvel is zombies is coming. <laughs> Just as long as Marvel yeah. does some good animation, mm-hmm. that's the one gripe I've had with them compared to DC. DC's animation is way better. Another one, man, right here. I didn't. This didn't catch me, man. This Miss Marvel, uh, you know, segment. Did it catch like you guys? It. I like it. You like I it? Liked it. I liked it. Yeah, I, I dug it too, man. It, the whole thing about Ms. Marvel and her, it's, it's family. It's all, it's all about the family. 
So I think that little snippet that we got, that five seconds or whatever you want to call it, was about her with her parents and like her with like her best friend. You know, so I mean, it's 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 about that tight knit group, and I think this will play very well. On Disney Plus, it will for sure. Oh, it's yeah. going to be hanging with Mr. Cooper meets superheroes. You got some of those <laughs> Marvel books, though, right? Over there with you, Alonzo. Uh, oh yeah. So this one, and again, these are books that we've talked about for many, many shows. To pick these up because they were on a dip. You know, these these books right here, they were really, really inexpensive at the time. And we've talked about it saying, hey, the Ms. Marvel's going to be coming up. Ms. Marvel's going to be coming up. And now we have a trailer. Um, there's a lot of action on these books. There's tons. Yeah. And, the, and um, you know what I we know what I kind of liked about that trailer is that um, Ms. Marvel, the actress is young. So they're going to watch her. You're going to watch her grow with the seasons. You know, yeah. so mm -hmm. they get into, into the role, well. into the role. How long it goes? Yeah, and then it, it's also too. They made it a point to say that she's also going to be in Captain Amer Captain Marvel number two. Yep, right here. Mm -hmm. I right. got that one for you guys too. That's when I was like, oh, she's coming into the movies. Yep. You know, so Miss Marvel's going to pop, man. You know, um, yeah. but we know what uh, we. I know you guys' feelings about Brie Larson. What do you, you guys? Uh, you guys I don't like her. I don't think anybody likes her, man. I don't like her. I. I, I think like she's fine. fine. She's a man hater. <laughs> I think she's just fine. I think you know what's gonna be great is uh, um, I wouldn't be surprised though. Like you said, like watching this young actress Miss Marvel mature into her role. I wouldn't be surprised at what some point in the comics first it would happen where she becomes Captain Marvel, right? Where Miss Marvel becomes Captain Marvel, um, and it, then it happens in the MCU. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see that ten years down the road. I mean, it's a long time from now. I'm I'm throwing my my speculation net we're way out there. But let's uh, just get a title first. But then isn't yeah. isn't Monica Rambeau supposed to be Captain Marvel too? That's what I was gonna say. But how yeah, about something? They'll Monica establish Rambeau? that it moves around. That'll happen. You know. You know. Um. She. That's that's a sleeper kind of book. Like she. You know. Avengers. Uh. Two twenty seven. And um, ASM 16, you know, there's are still pretty affordable books, man, for someone that's going to show up in uh, show up in the movies. You know, it's already established now. So and yeah. I don't I, I, I don't know who Tiana Paris is. Do you guys what movies were she in before all this? I have no clue I mean, either, man. I was like, who is this? Who's Tiana Paris? You know, hmm. so we'll see, man. We'll see. Um, Captain Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel number two, man, with. Um, with Miss Marvel. Then we got Hawkeye, Hawkeye, man, Hawkeye news, you know? So, um, here we go, man. So they kind of, they're kind of, they're kind of giving you the characters that are going to show up now. Now it's all, it's all pretty established. And, um, I'm pretty stoked on this, man. It, the, the, the way they're getting, um, out the news regarding Hawkeye and, uh, letting the leaks out. It's, it's starting hype, man. You know, it's starting some big hype around this. What do you guys think? No, I, I I love it. Like I can't wait for this series. Uh, again, we've talked about the the Hawkeye uh, series by uh, Matt Fraction, uh, and buying those books. I think it was like Hawkeye number number seven, I think, and also Lucky the Pizza Dog. I think that's number nine or ten. Yeah. And then also getting you know young young Avengers. Um, so I mean, this I'm hyped. This looks good. Yeah, man. I mean, I, look at these uh, leaked photos, bro. H Haley's looking kind of hot, man. You know, so. Purple. I'm excited. I'm excited, man. She looks, purple. she looks like Kate she, Bishop to me. She's you know? the voice of Gwen. Um, Gwen, wasn't she? Sorry. Uh, uh, Miles. Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. Yes. Yeah. Was she? She was the, the yes, voice? Yes, she is. Yeah. Huh. Wow. She's the voice of her. Huh. Looks pretty good, man. You know. Um, and then we got news on uh, She-Hulk, man, and Abomination showing up in this one. What do you guys thought on it? Nice. Yeah, Tim brought the show. I'm all for it, man. Yeah. I'm all for yeah. it. I, I like how they're, they're playing as well. Yep. Making an appearance. I, I like how they're including all of those Hulk movies that we kind of forgot about um, and kind of bringing them back into the fold. So I kind of like this. Did we forget about them, or did we purposely kind of push them in the closet and hide them away? <laughs> I think we kind of pushed them. In the, I hated it. I, I like Eric Bana, I, but he was oh my god, that movie was. I awesome. love I love Edward Norton, but that I movie like was 
It was better. I like Edward Norton. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Was better. The combination of the Hulk was the shit, bro. I think it'll be good. I think we're probably. I think what this confirms to me is we're gonna get the Red Hulk in this movie. We're gonna get. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Deadly Ross well. come back. Are we getting um, the leader from the original Hulk film? I wouldn't be surprised to get if we got that either. Uh, sure. I think that they're gonna flesh out more hokey people, you know. Um, Doc I think, yeah, I, I think that that's coming. It, it's that movie is a hundred percent canon now. It's a TV show, you know? Mr. Frank. You know, it's not um, a movie. No, I said that movie that the, the previous Hulk oh. movie is one hundred percent canon now. When Tim Roth jo- joined, are we sure? You know, and well, it already was yeah, with General that. Ross, right? Yeah. You know, General was, Ross will be in, in the end. So, and then you got a I secret just want to do the cast for her. Oh, this damn. was the Good biggest God. Marvel announcement. This is right? awesome. I mean, yeah. this holy moly! This is yeah. a show. This I think they're gonna twist it. I think I don't think it's gonna be like the book. I think they're gonna make them as good guys, the scrolls. Uh, I don't know. I I think they're gonna use this as a way to go. Okay, well, like that wasn't Tony Stark. Here's a new Tony Stark, or use it to to retire other characters that they're like. Okay, you've done six films. You don't want to do it. Let's get someone else to play that role. But I don't think they're going to be doing them as good guys necessarily. Hmm. So I I like this as a way to kind of I think be that uni- unify unifying the the kind of slate of movies. I think I think these scrolls will play integral parts and kind of be that ultimate big bad, kind of like what Thanos was. Because with, with Secret Invasion, I mean, the comic book series affected so many, so many lines. I mean, it was everywhere, and everybody had like a mole in 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 on their team. So I mean, everybody was affected by this. I think this is a way to kind of tie everything together and and make it one big giant event. So this is a giant event show. So this is going to be like the Defenders was on Netflix, but hopefully better executed. Oh God! Right. So like. <laughs> hey, um, um, you know, uh, fucking so, hurt my okay, heart. Does that mean when we're watching said, the oh, other shows, God. right, that come before this, can anyone be a scroll at any time? Right? Yes. Anyone yes. can be a scroll at any time. Our yeah. heroes, our, our 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 shield agents, our our villains. Well, was they can anyone all be scrolls. reading? Was anyone reading comics when this actually came out? Uh, what the storyline? Oh I yeah. Do you guys remember the whole the whole push was? Do you, you really know who your superheroes are? Yeah, I remember that, that. whole that whole thing of yeah. they they play the whole thing of oh, is that really this person is that really this person and kind of pitting them against each other and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be interesting that. Yeah. I just like the fact that Be- uh, Ben Mendelsohn is actually um, Krennic on Rogue One. He's director Krennic. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. he's great. And then you got Sammy Al. You got Sammy Al Jackson, dude. You got yeah. Pace Windu too, bro. Like this is a Star Wars affair, man. Is in in a in a Marvel, you know. There so, might yeah. be talk. There might be talk with the, each other. Dude, yeah. I, mean, I have a feeling they don't let anybody down and make this so totally different. <laughs> oh, I, dude. I wonder. This if seems like it's gonna be a please. Shield show. Like it's like the, the yeah. this is the Shield show or this is the Sword show. Or, you know this. They, this is but the they Sword might show. Use it to bring in people too. But yeah, they might yeah. Use it to bring in like Spider Woman. What's her name? Uh, Daisy Johnson. Did, did they even give a release date for this thing? No. no. They didn't give a release date, huh? They were just like, yeah, we're, we're doing Secret Invasion. No. We're putting together the story, and here's a director. 2022, some bullshit like that. 23. I think I'm then, you, uh, that then we got Ironheart, man. Some confirmation on Ironheart. So you guys know what a book. You want to show me, man? Right? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So again, another book that like we've been pumping. I know Ian and myself have been picking these up everywhere yeah. we can get them so i mean here we go riri williams right now okay mm-hmm. so the iron man number number seven and then also number nine mm-hmm. so again these these books we've been telling you guys pick them up wherever you see them because they're on the cheap right now or at least they used to be on the cheap oh, they took on they took a dip man when star star wars went live um oh, everybody's looking the other way man you know so yep right now, now, now okay so I actually have a couple books 
um, up on uh, on eBay right now, and people are pinging me for really? like, g- g- I want a deal. I want a deal. Like, nope. let's bring it out. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, why not? Why I kind of want to get rid. I, I won't lie, man. Yeah, I kind of yeah. want to get rid of my number nine variant. I'm kind of like thinking, I have I have one left, and I'm like, eh, I don't know, man. You know, yeah. um, it's now or you gotta wait through two three years when they finally release yeah, it. Yeah, so. I would I would yeah. do it now. You can because right now there's so much hype that people are willing to buy into it right now. This mm-hmm. is like 2024 or something like this. Yeah, and it's gonna come back down. It's gonna come back down. Right now, it's probably at its peak because yeah, we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait. And I did know that they showed the actress. Oh, yeah. Again, yeah, we're that gonna have Dominique Thorne. We're gonna have to wait. She's cute. Did, does anybody She's know pretty. about Dominique Thorne? I, I, I have no, I, I have no idea who this this uh, actress is. No, nope. she's, she's, she's hot. That's all that you know. That's all we need. Now. <laughs> I think I. Do you think uh, Marvel is just picking unknown. these uh, unknown. unknowners? You know, you know, like we're just gonna start with unknowners, man. You know, well, like that's how they started out with. When they did Iron Man's, so, I mean, really, they took a chance with Robert Downey Jr., but... But he wasn't an unknowner, bro. He was no, a coach. He, no, he was a drug guy. He took a chance like, with him because of his drug She's challenge. actually yeah. pretty new. She's pretty new. She came in uh, the Beale Street uh, Could Talk in 2018, and then she just did a movie uh, that, that's going to be coming up in 2021 that's going to be uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. So... Um, He's, he's pretty much right. I mean, she looks like they're looking into getting some new faces and, and just kind of adding some new blood. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I kind I of agree with Shaper when he's, yeah, about the younger actresses and actors, just because it's like they're kind of using the Disney model and getting them young so they can hi- kind of help mold them into these particular characters because they're more open to doing things their way versus an established actor. You know what I mean? There and there cheaper. are way more keys for this character than there are her first appearance. There's appearances of her father that just happened. There's appearances of like her new costumes that just happened. You know, so like uh, I I don't know about you guys, but with these characters, uh, they're going on my pool. Like for because there, there's going to be new books because they just canceled the Ironheart book last year. Um, I'm pretty and sure Captain they're not going to. And Captain, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure they're not going to stay that way no. okay so. let's let's take a look at some re books i'm gonna put this over here you guys see that yep. you guys see yeah, that okay so they're going, they're going what's bro? the second print going that? for there you go yeah. Yeah. even then, number six with because uh, miles is on the cover right there look at that that's not bad those prices aren't bad they're man right now garage, yeah no they were 15 dollar this books, guy man. got a pretty good deal you could just take you could uh, you know right you right could, now uh, you you should sell right now and then buy it back. Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine for the, the first solo the series. First that's that's really high for fifteen bucks for the first solo series. Oh no, buy it back in a year. Yep. So one of the other things that Hyper mentioned, and I know Hyper uh, mentioned that. Uh, Ooh, look at that right there. One four ninety nine. What's the ceiling on that one? Four ninety two. Do you see that? Uh, um, you see I got that, Alonzo? one. I do. I got, I got a nine point eight of that sucker. What do you think oh, yeah. we can get? Seven hundred. Maybe. I, I think you can eight. Eight? Okay. Eight. 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 Yep. Look at that. Nine eight. nine point eight. A man of uh, uh number nine first print. Three seventy almost four hundred bucks. Yep. Wow. These are all December tenth. Look at that, man. Look of how many course. books that, want it. look at that they shit, bro. It. Like it's forever December tenth. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, nine for forty five. There was a there was secret invasion. Uh, and you guys know I moved recently, right? There was yeah. a secret invasion on uh, 9.8 on eBay for like $74. And mid-announcement, I was trying to buy it. But I had to change my address because I hadn't changed my address since I oh. bought it. So I had to like back out of the eBay, uh, the, the PayPal checkout, and then go back and change my address. Oh, and when I mate. did, it said, this item is out of stock. And oh. I was gone. Oh, yeah. ah, you got sniped. I got sniped. <laughs> Ian took it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> man, I get my, I get mad that I don't snipe anybody, bro. You guys know I go to the late. I'm always you know, at the shop, and I see that fucking lonely ass short box sitting there. And he, makes, no and he makes pals with it, <laughs> dude. I go and touch it. Pals I, with it. You guys want to know the secret to playing slot machines, man? You got to go to that slot machine. You got to kind of rub it a little bit. And say, hey, baby, what's <laughs> up? How you doing? You want a coffee? Was, uh, and you bring, you bring some coffee, and you kind of 
And you kind of, you know, you clean her, clean her off a little bit, and then you start putting those fucking coins in there. So you got to do this short box, man. You got to rub that short box a little bit. Say, hey, what's up, baby? You know, rub it a little bit, then gently <laughs> move right, right. the comics, and then boom. Boom. Iron, Iron Man number seven, Iron number nine. You know, like that's the way you, that's that's what I do. You guys want to know the secret? There you go, bro. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, these books are moving hard, man. It's 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 crazy. You know, like I'm I'm here looking at these things. I mean, I can, we can go forever. Check this I'm out. Man. If she's a long term hold, though, that. man. They're gonna, yeah. She's gonna be in the movies, though. Like, is this a movie yeah. or is this gonna be a, a Disney Plus series? Well, is Young it, Avengers will be a movie. You sell, you sell now and then buy back. Look at this. I'm still going. I'm still going. Look at this, Alonzo. The thing is, uh, what Alonzo is saying is awesome. Oh, what look at that right there. Yeah. Alonzo, see, look at that. 500 oh, bucks. Yeah. I'm about ready to mute him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move. Uh, yeah, let's move what I was going to say, what Alonzo is trying to say is sell it now while the hype's up there. It's going to die down while everyone's looking the other way, going, oh, this shiny object. Buy it when it goes low again, and buy more then, and then sell it again when the movie comes out. Yep, yep. But like, so Gore the God Butcher on Christian Bale, how uh, that proves like all the rumors we've heard are true this whole time yep. for months, months mm -hmm. and months. We've heard about him being Gore the God Butcher, you know, and and it was like, oh, it can't be that. Holy moly. Right? Are we gonna go to null eventually? Is yes. that where we're headed? Yes. You go yeah. to null. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It's a road to null, man. It's a road to yeah. null. Yeah. Yep. It is a road to null. A road, the road, road to, to null, null has help. been laid out in front of us, guys. Gore the God Butcher exists. It's happening. Um, Which but they, I've heard also two, that they right? said that like Love and Thunder is gonna be like an Avengers style movie with team ups. So like. You know, is that something that happened in that run? I don't know. I have the books. I haven't read them. Is it going to do Christine. the voice? Is it going to do huh? the voice? Is it going to do the Batman voice for for fucking gore? Probably. All right. Here we go. So one ninety nine. It was that first two. hyper. It, it was at first, but I think there was a lot of oh hyper about gore. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars for a raw. Nice. A raw. I'm going to my. Uh, 9.8, 500 bucks, basically. Jeez Louise, these things are hitting. Like, flipping those Dude. pancakes. <laughs> Dude, it. For, for the, I'll tell you, man, for the longest, man, I, I I got the whole run of the God of Thunder. For for the longest, man, I was just picking them out of freaking um, back bins, man. Right. Getting my shit together. And now look at this, man. Like God of Thunder number five, second print, 20 bucks. Is there? Is that, is it, is that even a key? I don't even think that's no. even a key. It just yeah, has gold on it. No, second, second the appearance sword. score, third appearance score. Sword. Look at this. Oh, this guy got a deal. He got one through. He got a bunch for two hundred bucks. Yeah, know, some cool. guy who acted quickly. What was it? Eighteen hundred yeah. hours. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yep. He was like, "Fuck that. I'm getting my god out of shit." You know. Six o'clock. Um, there you go. Nine point eight four five four fifty four thirty. You know. Huh. That's that is yeah. more. That's villain spec, and it's going for more than the variant. Yeah. Version of Riri. Yep, that's what. This isn't a bad insane. deal. Look at this one right here. One through twenty-five for five fifty. If you're gonna pay five hundred bucks for number two, you might as well just get them all. You know, like yeah. hey, he got a but deal. Nick, Look at fifty. But Nick, you're also looking at a villain in a franchise that has been established, the fourth movie in it versus a hero in a series that has not been established yet. So, but chances the, are Gore does not live to the end of this. Oh, I, the end I, of this I, movie. I, I, I totally Gore, agree with Gore's you. A bad motherfucker, man. He's, yep. he's a good I, character, bro. I, but he's the kind of guy you can't let live. If you can't let Ultron live, you can't let Gore live. But exactly. what, I'm, what I'm getting at, though, is one is a risk you know, whereas the other one's an unknown risk. Yeah, but you know what? Villains You're make more money off hands out. I, I agree. I agree, but I'm saying people are just siding with. The known risk. They know people are going to go see Thor, Thor. They know it's going to go up. Whereas they don't know how audiences are going to reply, react to Riri. No, I, I, I think I, she's got the bigger upside. I can I can see that, JR. Plus, like, Christian Bale has more weight than the other actress that, you know, again, we 
don't know who she is, right? So and, and I, I love if, Riri. I think she's if a great you had character. to pick five hundred dollars to throw into one, which one are you picking? Oh, I'm taking Riri. As as a person that's that's the played upside. this game long enough, I'm gonna go with Riri. Yeah, you're gonna go with Riri. I huh? mean, yeah, he's gonna have I toys. Mean, it's gonna be insane. If I had to choose between buying Thrawn's first appearance or buying Riri's first appearance, and you know how much I love Thrawn, I'm picking Riri because she's the hero. Yep. Thrawn oh, may be in a couple movies. <laughs> Riri is going to be around for a while. Okay, that being said, viewers, really feel fun. free to pay 500 <laughs> plus for them. I'm going to have some on, on eBay this evening. Hey, but check us out. Hyper brought us something up uh, that I'd interesting because Dario Agar, right? He's uh, the head of Roxxon, right? Or whatever. Is it Roxxon? That was a regular oh. rumor, but obviously it's wrong. Can we see Roxxon play big in this one? You know, so I don't got a thunder. That. He's been, uh, Roxxon's been pretty big. Inter I mean, pretty, it made his introduction into the Miles game. It's like a big character. I don't know. It's a big character in the, uh, in the Miles game right now. So well, can we I see mean, it in the movies? You know, I mean, it's showing up in, you know, the TV shows right now. You know, I think, I think you're going to see Roxxon show up all over the place, Didn't especially Roxanne when Wolverine comes out. Did they already get mentioned in the movie? Ah, man, but I like, I like Gore, man. Gore is one of my favorite villains, man. He's a bad motherfucker, you know. Um, but then uh, the one that's kind of, that's going to break our heart, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, man. They said they yeah. will not replace Black Panther. Huh. They said they will not cast a new T'Challa. T'Challa, yeah. yeah. That's what did they say T'Challa or did they say pa Black Panther? No, they said they will not T'Challa. Yeah. I thought it was Black Panther, man. Yeah, I said we, they will not replace Black Panther. It was, it's yeah. a, you guys are correcting me. It's all good, man. Maybe and they wrong, they said that they, they want to explore more in this universe and all that stuff. We're going to get Shuri as Black Panther. That's going to happen. My yeah. big question is what we've been going over. Is it to happen right away? Or is it something that like, because they're not going to cast, they're not going to video or CGI uh, Chadwick Boseman either. So, you know, what happens off screen or what happens, you know, to, to get this event, you know, like. Mm. Yeah, well, she, she's the, the leader writers. of Wakanda, isn't she, in the comics later on? Yeah. yeah. At one yeah. point, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm like, looking at we, eBay right now, and this is what the this is what you know the market's saying, and there hasn't been any sales for Black Panther number two on December oh. 10th, December 9th. There's look at that, the prices have gone pretty much down. Yeah, it, it's because underrated, of outspoken wow. social media. That's like oh. then uh, before the, the first announcement, kill longer. Well, Rob, what's the first chance to kill action? Uh, what the fuck was that? Seb? Let me look it up real quick. So Hyper Combo Comics kind of mentioned on the chat, like Killmonger be resurrected. And I know that um, I think yep. uh, Nick and also Big Rob kind of mentioned that too, that uh, um, uh, know, wait, Killmonger no. might be coming back, right? I was the first person that spouted okay. that months ago. All right, JR. Let, let's, let's get that straight because I got be. yelled at for that shit. Come here, JR. <laughs> let me stop your ass. Let me stop your ass. <laughs> The story should be Killmonger comes back, and then I would like it to see Killmonger actually get a whole redemption movie, a whole, too. like a whole redemption movie, what but the, like something subtle at the end, like maybe what? a post credits scene or something that shows he's still bad. Jungle and Action Six. Jungle Action okay. Six. Yeah. Let me let me look it up. But no, I've been saying since the get go Ooh. that Killmonger, like Loki, during his show. Does something to bring Killmonger, keep him alive. Oh, there's a cell. So you uh, you can I guess the specs on a uh, you know uh, 150 uh, bucks. Yeah, that's a Mark bad. Jeweler. Oh wow, hmm. Mark Jeweler even. I don't know what that's the fuck it is. There you go, 78 bucks. That's not a bad price, huh? So for VF. Enough. On December seventh, huh? That's not a bad price at all for that Killmonger. Shit. Um, yeah, I mean they're affordable. They're affordable, you know. So they're affordable still. The Killmong uh, Killmonger's first appearance. That would be a good one to yeah. grab right now. Raider Bear's got my back. No sure, yeah. No, no, no. The one before that. Jungle Action eighteen also. 
<laughs> Which one do you but, have? Uh, Jungle, uh, the, the one you showed, Jungle Actual 6. I got the slab. But the yeah, other one is also slab. Good. Yeah, Jungle Actual 18 is um, Madam Slay. She's a love interest for Killmonger. She's the one that resurrects him. That one's cheap, bro. Jungle right Actual there. 18. Canadian for uh, Hyper right there. Nine, 10 bucks. 26 oh bucks for God, five. Yeah. Cheap. Fucking buy that shit right now. Oh, I'm gonna go buy it after this. this show. Also, <laughs> I don't know if because by the way they did, they showed that they had the the fight and the waterfall and stuff. I don't know if Shuri could win in a fight against um, Killmonger or I forget. I want to call Manny, but I forget what his actual Umbaka. Yeah, I don't I think she could beat either one of those guys in hand to hand combat. No, I don't Shit. Think so. So that's why I don't think that's why you need like Killmonger to, to have power, everyone happy and everything good for a little while, and then the corruption and she takes she she roots out corruption and takes over that way. You know, like a, a Senate takeover sort of set up. At least that's why Yeah, I would, that's I would expect. hyper combo. Get get man apes first appearance. It's true. One of them then, will uh, take the mantle for a little bit. Yeah. I'd, and then uh, last one, uh, I, think it, I think this might be our last wow. but not least. I love it. It. This was like the right here. Here. incredible. Dick, you were saying, no, you were saying buy them Fantastic Fours on the cheap, and that's what I did, man. I bought, I, I, yeah. bought, I, I did went. Did you buy it. enough? <laughs> I, I bought enough, man. I was just buying them cheap, bro. Like you said, I was just buying them in fucking. At the flea market, you know, um, yeah. with the keys, you know. So, um, but this is not gonna. This is a long way off, though. It sounds, man. It sounds like they're just they're just. It is. Start, it. start picking up yeah. keys right now for these books for Fantastic Four is what I would do. Yeah, they're already pricey. Yeah, they're yeah. early thirty yeah. ones too. Yeah, Galactus. Let me see, let me see what they're doing that. right now. Uh, let me see. Uh, Fantastic Four. Let's see. But they, there's a ton up. of keys. There's a ton of keys. There's Everything ton. that's twelve cents. There's a million. Of them. There's a so billion right keys. They are super cheap if you can find them, man. Because I've been, I just anytime I but, I, I, I see uh, a Fantastic Four, Silver Age, I'm I buy it. Condition it is, is key, though. There's so yeah. many bad, bad books out there. Water damage books. Dude, like, I got a 1.0 Fantastic Four number five. So here we go, man. You guys nice. ready to go down this rabbit hole? Like this long at this big ass rabbit hole, Fantastic Four. So it it oh, also means that hard cover. Was that a lot though? Pretty good right here for 280. Five, That's eight. the thing. People don't know what to buy right now. Um, My Doctor Doom. Reprint. Yeah. It's not bad for the reprint. Doom, Galactus, Surfer. Yeah, Surfer yep. for sure, man. Yep. So are, um, but definitely Doom. Doom is December 10th, it, man. People were on it, you know. Fantastic for number, number 50. Five. That's not a bad. Huh. Yeah, it's yeah, like those would go up. 50s, oh, 51. Yeah. I'll give you guys a tip also. I would buy Annihilus's first parents. That's already the annual. That's yep. already pricey, too. Yeah, yeah, but no, I, I don't yeah, think it's pricey. that one's pricey. I think that's going to be the one. I have a feeling they're going to. I love this cover. Tie, tie Fantastic yeah. Four into Ant Man. Ant Man's going to find them and they're going to be in the negative verse. Yep. Look, man, hey, Rob, the, toy guys are it, the toy guys are getting into it, man. They're buying the whole fucking lot right there. Yeah, right. Yeah. There you go. There's the annual. Yep. What? Yep. That's not bad, though. That's not pricey. I mean, that's, very, that's very good. Because that Bro. one, yeah, that's a very good. I mean, take a look at that book. It's that's probably not very, in very good condition. Those are hard to find in great condition. It's like really cover hard. as well. Because they're that, just, it's square bound by, uh, books. Those are hard. They, they split. It's like 700 bucks for a, 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 a high. But still, high I mean, that all Rock. your Fantastic Four books are going to be expensive. Yeah. I mean, you're looking Galactus, Silver Surfer, Doom, not First FF. Good. You're Look talking $1,000 oh, books. No. You know which one? Um, I would have done Oh, yeah, it's not a, make that's sure not you a get that uh, paste pot, Pete. You know, that's what I will get from the volume three, Fantastic Four Fifteen. That's the first appearance of Valeria Von Doom. That's Doctor Doom's daughter. Yeah, that's a secret book. You I shouldn't tell people do. about that. Oh, yeah. he, 
in the gusto. I have um, it already. Oh, yeah. It's a good book. It's a good book. <laughs> but you Again, have to admit it, all, all the Fantastic Four um, movies have been disasters, really, haven't they? So hopefully they get it right this time. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. The third one was the worst, for sure. Oh, it's terrible. So um, we have Kev on the show, man, and he's he's a Star Wars expert, man. And I want I brought a couple. Uh, I brought this character for for uh, for Kev to talk about because I know me and Kev, we're we're into this character, man. We're into his books yeah. too, you know. So yeah. go ahead, Kev. Yeah, yeah, Kev Bane. So he's he's a, a pretty um, popular fan favorite from the Clone Wars uh, series, animated series. Now, um, the background to this particular character is that um dave filoni actually had a chat with george lucas <clears throat> and he asked george um what his favorite alien race was and george told dave that it was the duros so um dave filoni basically went away and he created this um bounty hunter character and as you can see he also has the um filoni hat fedora hat on as well yeah. <clears throat> So, um, do you want want me to talk about the big book that's related to Cad Bane? Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Let me go. Uh, yeah, let me see here. I I, uh, I create a little thing for you, but you know, I put I put I try to put all just to let the audience know like some books they should look out for. And so yeah. here's some big ones right here, man. Um, and I want to I'm gonna pull up the eBay and see what's going on with them too. You know. Yeah. So this is um, <clears throat> Darth Maul. Uh, number two from 2017 this is the the one on the left is the um uh first print and the one on the right is the second print you can tell it's a second print um with the stars in the background that's how you know mm -hmm. um but it's the first appearance of cad bane um the bounty hunter and and the big book that um is on the top of everyone's list that, that's chasing this particular book is the the aja variant do you have a yeah and I, I picked this up actually myself recently, and it's on its way now. And yeah, that cover just really pops. I, I love it. It's fantastic. So, you know, obviously with the whole Mandalorian season <clears throat> uh, really going well, I think that uh, it's just a matter of time that we see Cad Bane pop up. Um, and obviously it's one of uh, Dave Filoni's babies as well. So, um, yeah, can't wait for him to make an appearance. And when he does, these books will just explode. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with them right now, man. Because um, I this uh, this is a disclaimer. I, I own a bunch of Darth Maul twos, um, so um, <laughs> but it, I do. But look at them. Look at the cells. December tenth. What's going yeah. on with this thing, man? Look, they're all cells. I mean, I know Alonzo, you were looking for one too, right? And they're all gone. All the cheap ones, right? Look at all yeah, the cells. All gone. Oh, look at this, man. Yeah. Is there has there been any news that Cad Bane's showing up somewhere or somebody knows something? No, I think it, uh, yeah, something. that's that's probably what it is. I I haven't heard any um, news. I keep track of everything, and I haven't heard anything about um, Cad Bane. But I think it's because um, obviously the the Mandalorian show is going so well, and it's about to um, you know season three is confirmed. Obviously, um, I think it's just a matter of time that Cad Cad Bane appears. A surprising one is is that the look at this right here the second prints the second prints are going for a lot of money now yeah. too, you yeah. know so um yeah my cat bane is definitely so those are some of the books that you should look out for and there's a couple more that I I put in here and I think uh, I think you guys will know the ones I'm looking at so oh. go ahead go ahead what's up there? I was gonna say uh, you might want to look at Doc J's question for Kev Doc J oh here you go there you go. uh was he friends with obi-wan i don't think darth maul was ever a friend they were i guess they respected one another and darth maul was kind of always wanting um to get back at obi-wan for what he did to him so i don't think they were ever friends um so i'm not sure where maybe there's a a, a comic series or range of books that i i haven't read that where they maybe were friends but i don't recall them ever being friends here yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah no, I don't recall it ever. They're either. always rivals. I know there was respect there, but never friendship. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, I mean, spoilers when when Obi Wan cut him down on Tatooine, um, you know, he kind of closed his eyes, and so he did show him some respect there, um, but they're never friends at all. Yeah, 
in my opinion. And there's not a lot of books with Cad Bane on the cover or in them, you know? So, no. I mean, these are some of the ones I found, like the, you have this, uh, you know, from the Aaron run, uh, Star Wars 55, and it's the variant. It's, yeah. You know, Galactic Icons variant. Then you have this uh, Darth Maul number three. And this is a, was this, was this a cover A or was this a variant? I'm seeing one one, so it has to be. Pretty sure it's a cover A. It's for sustainable, it's cover a. Uh, but it's but it's it's beautiful. It really pops right in yeah. the back. And I yeah. I actually was able to go buy one of these um the other day, and um they're they're they went from six bucks to twenty five out of nowhere. Yeah. You the know? cover is just awesome, just by itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a sick one, man. Uh, so, the um, other cool thing about Cad Bane is you know how, how he's got that um, breathing tube on on the sides. I think I read somewhere that it's actually the reason why he's got that is not just so he can breathe and like say if there's poison gas or anything, but it's actually um, to prevent him being force choked. That's hmm. the actual reason oh. for it. Wow, which is quite interesting. Yeah, so it means he yeah. can. So even if he gets force choked, he can still breathe and operate. Yeah. And to go back, Doc J asked again, or did they train together before he went dark? Uh far as i remember at least in the dark plagueis books uh sidious found him before hand the jedi never found darth maul he found him i forget on some on sabacric or whatever trash planet yeah and he kind of had him nestled away by himself he never was touched by the jedi i just feel like something's going on with this book man because um there's been a yeah. lot of cells and Somebody like uh, it happened to me with with uh, with uh, America. Remember, guys? Like, I don't know where. Like, what the hell just happened? That book's been sitting there for like a year, you know, and then yeah. all of a sudden it's gone. And you see, and you look, and it there's a lot of other books gone there, too. There was but also some speculation that there was going to be um, a bounty hunter spinoff series as well, but obviously at that Disney um, you know announcement today, that wasn't really confirmed. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe that may have driven it. I'm not sure. Yeah. So here's some here's some looks on, on what's going on with uh this is the uh, first print, and I mean it's always been like a twenty fifteen to twenty dollar book and it's kind of jumped a little bit doubled, and then here's a look at the uh, the second prints they're going for three hundred dollars now and here's a look yeah. at um yeah, the one twenty five, you know, and uh, you got one Rob where's yours at bro you want to show that off man? The other room I get it one yeah know. man. You should see this. Did you see? Uh, did you see Rob's Kev's? Rob's, no, uh, has right? he got the Aja variant or the second print? He got the Azaj, man. Oh Aja yeah, that, yeah, that's that's a beautiful book. I've been chasing that for a while, and like I said, I only I only bought it like a, a couple weeks ago. So, and it's on its way to me now. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's always been a pretty known book in the star and with Star Wars collectors is Darth Maul yeah. too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> You go, Rob. I'm gonna put you on blast, man. Show it off, bro. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh, signature series. Wow. Hey. Who signed that? Ray Park. Oh, mate, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. we, we should have shown him the picture too, huh, Rob? We took with him. Me and uh, well, you you, man. You and yeah. did. That was dope, man. Yeah. It was good. That is beautiful. But then, they, uh, but then there's this. Uh, there, there's actually another comic book, but it's it's a digital comic book. Um, I wasn't able to find find a copy but it's it's a, it's a digital it's a digital comic book have you guys read this web this web series yet anybody no, no. Uh, yeah it's a web it existed series. yeah man it's a web series um uh, well, give me a golden you, nugget on cafe yeah yeah if you, uh, if you could find it man i'm Look, not giving looks, i'm not giving you your issue, i'm not giving you an issue but there's uh, there's um original stories of cafe and star wars insider so oh really hmm. yeah. nice man the Star Wars Insiders, bro, like, you know. And then we got some toys, right? We got the uh, – was this the uh, – this was the um, the Celebration. The Celebration uh, exclusive, right, for uh, Cad Bane? It was probably supposed kind of got to that be – shiny but, paint. But they moved it just to Hasbro Pulse exclusive, yeah. I got one, man. I'm a Cad Bane fan. I've been a Cad Bane fan for, for a long time. And then you got the, the uh, fun, his Funko Pop. And what was this – was that a comic – was that a San Diego one? Yeah. It's an one. Uh -huh. huh. So Cad Bane, so man. Is, and then, go ahead. Sorry. No, is that is that a um, San Diego Comic Con exclusive? Is it? Yes. Yeah, I think I think it yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty eighteen. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you have a couple. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, Rob. 
Dogs is crazy how that pop didn't really didn't really pop off. Uh, no pun intended. But the Captain Rex did. The Captain Rex is like mad expensive. I don't know why. Dude, the Captain Rex is like a three hundred dollar pop or something, man. Something like that. I wonder if and we're then, gonna see him in the Mando series. <laughs> you no, know, I hope so. And then um and then you got a couple other books too, right? Um, oh yeah, okay. So, up. so Star Wars Tales. Um, this came out in 1999, and this is obviously part of the Star Wars Tales um, series, which I I just keep recommending people to buy any Star Wars Tales books they can pick up, because um, as you've seen in the Mandalorian show, you know characters and creatures etc. just being pulled out of these books and novels and games all the time, and it seems like every Mandalorian show I'm finding like you know for example the um, the, the Dark Troopers appeared and in the star wars tales and i one of my recent videos i talked about that so um but in this particular book here star wars tales 23 the reason why it's so important is that it's actually the first and only appearance of darth revan and darth malik now everyone's probably thinking what are you talking about um you know the big big book to chase is uh, knights of the old republic uh, number nine which is the first full appearance of revan but the thing is is in the knights of of the old republic series which is 50 comic books um they never become darth darths they're just the good guys they're just revan and they're just malik so in star uh, so basically they turn into darths in the in the computer game and so this is the only comic book where you actually see them as the darths so um there's also a um a photo uh, variant a cover b but for some mm. reason this particular one seems to sell for more than the than the photo cover variant yeah I think it's covered this is, I this think is a big covered. yeah and this this one i think this this is this is the the book really in my opinion out of whatever the, happened because this, this book was like the book for revan and Malik, and then all of a yeah, sudden, yeah, it was. Changed, it's just you know? nice when, when Knights of the Old Republic number nine, when you know the info came out on that, that's what everyone sort of like started gravitating towards. But it's really has to be it's this book, this is the big one. You have to really um, look for yeah. Revan, though, you know, it's in that little memory yeah. uh bubble, yeah, you know. And, yeah. and and the other, the other important thing to note is that um, Star Wars Tales, um, it ended at number uh, number, number 24, which is the next um book after this one and right at the end they the the print run was starting to get quite small and the other thing about these books here is that they use this like a, a, a cardboard cover and if you crease that or you if there's any color breaking creases you can't press them out mm -hmm. and so uh, to find this in hard um top you know top grade is really hard, hard to find so this is the one i'd i'd keep keep your eyes out for personally. yeah it's, it's an it's a yeah. nightmare to press those things man so yeah and you got this one too right uh good old yeah uh, star so wars number two. yeah so obviously from the original series star wars number two um from 1977 so um obviously with the announcement of the ob1 um uh, series uh from the disney announcement today this book is going to really heat up for some reason it has never um gotten the uh, attention that it's always deserved um so what a lot of sites unfortunately have listed uh number one as being the first appearance of ob1 but it's not so ob1 appears on the cover of number one but ob1's full appearance it's on the very first page basically appears he's throughout this entire book it's also the first full appearance of um han solo and chewy as well now mm -hmm. there's obviously the really rare 35 cent variant which is um you know a real big one um but these books have just been underpriced for ages and um i'm sure now i, I don't know if you look look at ebay these will be getting snapped up pretty quick but you know you could see these going for like 30 35 dollars on ebay all the time um so yeah this is a big one i think this will yeah, this will take off now. It yeah. kind of trips me out, man, that you can you know, you know like the Darth Revan and Knights of the Republic is a three hundred dollar book, and then you got this OG book number two going for thirty bucks, right? Yeah, and it yeah, it's all, crazy. Like, yeah, I mean, you have Han Solo, man, and, yeah. and Obi Wan, like the two, you know, the foundational characters of all Star Wars, and it's a thirty dollar book, you know, yeah. as their first appearance. So, um, 
you guys you do you 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 have these right uh jr bet i don't have the marvel ones really um well so the thing is this for when i started collecting marvel hadn't had the license for stars for a long time and dark horse was the one that had it and basically this run of marvel books was kind of a they weren't written very well um and no one they weren't considered canon no one cared so that's why a lot of us just went, well, fuck them. We'll just leave them to the side and get them whenever. Yeah. And got all the Dark Horse stuff. And now, I mean, it's, it's, I'm kind of glad I did that because it's a lot easier to find the Marvel stuff mm -hmm. than it's to find the Dark Horse stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. I, I found, a, I mean, I found a couple of these. Um, but uh, you're still out there, man. And then uh, you picked uh, this, this one too, right? Um, yeah. yeah, so this this is a really big one for me as well. Kind of like the Cad Bane situation. Um, so this is Jace uh, Jedi Mace Windu one shot from uh, uh, 2003. So this is the first full appearance of um, Asajj Ventress. Um, again, another huge go. fan favorite. Um, oh, yeah. From have I you got her? Yeah, so she she's a huge fan favorite from the Clone War series. Obviously, she was the uh, apprentice of Dooku or a former apprentice, and she was also kind of crossed between um, being good as well in some episodes. So she's um, what what do people term it? A white Jedi in many cases, but she also became a bounty hunter as well in some of the series. So um, I reckon we'll eventually see her in some form or the other in um, one of the Star Wars shows for sure. And she, obviously she dual wields um, two lightsabers and she, yeah, she's, she's awesome. She's a great character. I, I think it's, it's a matter of, um, you know, we'll see her soon. I'm pretty sure we will. Yeah. She was also the night sister too. That's yeah. right. Exactly. That's right. So she, she has links to the uh, Dathomir um, uh, witches. Yeah. Uh, uh, sisters. Yeah. I kind of got this flip in the year of forty five, so I just didn't get it. Yeah, I mean, once this this is like this is like one of those uh, thrawn thrawn situations, you know, the um, era of the Empire number one. The moment she makes an appearance, this book yep. will just explode. It really, really will. It's yeah, it's pretty expensive. This shit. Yeah, it, it it is. It's right, and, and and the one you really want to look out for, which is obviously tough, is the new stand variant. So obviously, um, in yeah, the barcode yeah. there, it says um, Star Wars Universe. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've only ever seen probably two of those newsstand, uh, <clears throat> copies on eBay and they're normally beaten up pretty badly. So yeah. And again, the card stock on these covers, you know, as I mentioned before in the tales 23, if you crease this badly, you can't press it out. It's on that, um, uh, cardboard stock paper. Um, yeah. You the know, the, thing, the, 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 right. the empire is a card stock too, man. You know, yeah, a lot, a lot of the dark horse dark stuff is, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was and, gonna say, yeah. also, also of interest, the Gentle Giants started. They did a stat, a mini of her recently. Okay, so that, that's another thing, a clue that she's probably coming out. The only bad thing is one of the first novels they did when Disney took over. They did a book called Dark Disciples and killed her off in it. Yeah. It's it's quite it's quite a sad story as well because the Sarge yeah. Ventress actually was um, uh, basically her people were slaughtered and um, a Jedi actually took her uh, under his wing and trained her and she actually turned to the dark side so um, it's kind of a, yeah it's a, a real sad story uh, her her background yeah but she's just a, such a kick ass character yeah, oh, yeah and so 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 this that so the last comic book we just looked at kind of segues uh into this one so the one on the right is um star wars republic 19 um uh, number 51 and uh, these came out in um 2003 now this is the first full appearance of dirge now dirge is a um, um a, a, a bounty hunter which is like basically like a terminator and number 52 is actually that's him on the left there uh, carrying that pulse rifle and the the person next to him is a Sarge Ventress, and that's actually her first cover appearance. And Fifty Two is also Dirge's first uh, cover appearance as well, and that's why I've kind of linked these two together. Um, I think uh, so. The cool thing about Dirge, if 
um, for those who don't know about him, you can basically blow the guy up into a million bit pieces, but he kind of fuses back together again. So he's almost like you almost can't kill the guy. Um, and and I know that um, the Samurai Jack uh, cartoon animator, they did a you know that Star Wars uh, animated um, series or movie. They had Dirge in that, and he was he was a really awesome character. So um, if he appears, you know, anywhere in say the Mandalorian or any other show, this this should blow up. And these books are really pretty cheap as well on eBay. Well, the last time I looked, but um, but I do know that number fifty two is definitely heating up because the Sarge Ventress yeah. is on the cover there. That's her first Fifty-two. cover appearance. Yeah, fifty two is heating up, man. I've been I've been watching it, man. Um, yeah, so I'm an Sarge fan too, and yeah, yeah, it's 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 getting pretty hot man so yeah well awesome man well thank you kev for your uh star cool. wars knowledge man um a couple good books to pick up and uh let's continue on with the news man um we're almost done so what do you guys think about this this whole thing right here are you guys are you guys in it or to win it or are you just like nah i'm not i'm not doing it uh, i'm like i feel like this this character this it, it's bringing out coming out of left field i i I, I really thought it was going to be Luke Fox that was going to be the uh, the new Batman because he's got ties to the Bat. Mm -hmm. Bringing this character in that hasn't had a lot of relationships with like the Bat family. So I think it's just kind of weird. Mm -hmm. And well, people got the FOMO for it, man. Look at those prices. Wow. 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 Oh, overnight, man. You know? you know, the first appearance of the first modern version of Tim Fox on the Earth Prime is in uh, that Batman 101. Was it 101 that uh, the current run for Tinian? Really? Yeah. Oh. With the Grifter on the cover? Yeah. yeah. That's his first modern appearance right now. Is this from the 70s or the 80s, early 80s? Do you know? 1979. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of FOMO on this one, man. So, uh, I mean, how much was this? How much was this book before before the uh, the feature state thing? You know, couldn't have been too much. Couldn't have been too much, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, no I, I mean, mean, these are all he's free, only free really a couple things. I mean, he has he hasn't been like a mainstay or has has hasn't had a major role in any of the bad books. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is, man. Like uh, Jay always says, man. You know, like DC's trying to. See if you know some shit can stick on the wall, and if you want to end up buying the shit and see if it sticks, then you know more power to you. But I'm not doing it. You guys know. doing it? The, the thing Good. is also you got to remember this is only if that future state's supposed to be like four issues, and it's done. Now yep. maybe they'll come back to it if it does something, but I think what they're really trying to do because DC in general is in rocky situation. They're getting because it's proven that number one sell. They're going to get the future state number one to come out in January, and then come March, they're going to do a whole new Batman number one, and everyone's going to buy it. And they're going to show their shareholders, "Hey, we had a really good first quarter," and it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is that's all going to kind of just drop out. Because they're just trying to save their comp, the, save the DC company in general. Well, because we all know it's hurting. They ain't getting my money, man. You know, I I I'm buy good. Batman, and I'm I'm not buying that future state. I'm getting the Wonder Woman, like I said, the Wonder Woman prison, and that's that's it, man. That's all I'm getting. And then uh, just to make Jr. happy, man. Hmm. Sweet and salty for uh, Jr. right there. You know, go ahead, Jr. What do you think about that, man? I, but that rumor's been going since the beginning because he's gonna go on. Everyone thinks that Peter's going to go on trial and it's going to be Matt Murdock showing up as his lawyer. That's the big rumor that I've heard. Mm -hmm. I have no problem if you bring him back. I love Charlie Cox. Um, yeah, go ahead and pause. Go ahead, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I think he'll honestly be a cameo if he plays any role. Yeah. The biggest news is Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in that movie. Holy crap. I almost cried a little bit today thinking about what they're going to do to my boy Toby. You know, they're probably going to kill my boy Toby and make me cry as a grown man in the theater 
you know, because that was my Spider-Man when I was in high school. I remember Lee, I got a speeding ticket on my way to the theater in 2000 because I was trying to get from school, from from practice, to try to get to the movies because that movie was that big. Spider-Man was everything back oh, yeah. then. And to 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 put them in the movie now, oh my gosh, dude, just don't screw it up. This could be the yes. most amazing Spider-Man movie ever. There's a lot of moving parts going on with that, man. I just, I mean, they're bringing, you know, go ahead, Rob. I, see, I just like they're actually connecting it with Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness. That's crazy. Well, I think what they're doing is they're building a Sinister Six movie. And they're realizing that Spider-Man cannot beat the six different characters. And they don't have enough time to do all the characters justice. So they're going, hey, let's take this guy from this Spider-Man movie, this one from this one, this one from this one. And they've already got, they've already did all their origin stories. So they only have to do like one person. It's, a, it's, it's that tie that binds them. They can kill multiple birds with one stone by doing this with Peter Parker. You introduce the entire public to the fact that same character, different face, right? Mm -hmm. Same character, different actor. Right, like, hey, look, this is this happens. Look, it happened with our mo one of our most popular flagship characters, Peter Parker. Scroll. Right now, um, when you we introduce the new Wolverine, right? When we introduce a new Wolverine and we introduce Hugh Jackman, you'll understand. Same character, different face. Yeah, that's know? what I was thinking too. This opens up a lot of uh, it opens up a lot of things that they can do. It gives them this a lot Wolverine of freedom. Has yeah. yeah, but I want to ask you guys, man. You guys down to do a little mail call, man? Because I want to see what I, I want to see what Kev got. I know we're kind of we've been we've been here for a minute, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, you yeah, down because, for that? You guys Rob, down? Give it a five five yeah, items. Do, do it quick. So um, I picked this up oh. on the the local uh, uh, trading website. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. man, look at that, man. Yeah. And it's the newsstand, and as you can see, it's actually got a little sticker on that uh barcode okay, there okay. but the cool thing about the stickers is you just get a, a hair dryer and you um put it over it for about three minutes and it peels off quite easily now there's actually an important thing to note is that in number one people say it's uh is it rock steady and bebop that's the first appearance but it's only their first appearance as the human form it's actually um uh number two which is where they wow. actually have the animal form. That's their nice. real first appearance, if you can think of it that way. So mm -hmm. um, the other thing I picked up was uh, you, should, you guys should keep an eye out for these. So this is uh, yeah, Return true. of the Jedi, right? Yeah, and if you it. look at the – now check out that price there. It's 75 cents, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. That's the rare Canadian price variant. Ooh, this wow. when it came out was um, uh, the the standard American edition is sixty cents. So if you can actually you can actually steal these, people think they're selling just the regular edition, but if you can get the Canadian price variant seventy five cent, you've you've got a um, a big bargain on your hands. And obviously, it's one of the last comics with Slave Layer on it as well. So yeah, Hut Slayer Layer. What'd yeah, you call it's her? Got, um, Java it, Layer. Ja Would you guys say Java Layer before and, because you and, got and, and it also has Bo uh, Boba Fett in it when he um, when he falls into the the Salak bit. So that's quite an important book too. The yep. new term is Hut Slayer Leia. Hut Slayer Leia. Hut Slayer Leia. And um, fi and finally, um, here in New Zealand, they've got these um uh, Australian and New Zealand price variants. They're like reprints. They're really weird. And look, look at the price there. Um, I'll try and get up to the camera. Uh, you can't quite the, see it. $1.25? Yeah. But it's basically um, their reprints. I, I, I mean, I, I'm really Star Wars, so I wouldn't really know what these covers relate to. But there's all these um, uh, comic books out there that you, you can find that are um, Australian um, price variants. And that mm -hmm. also goes with the Star Wars stuff. So some of them are really, really rare, and it's hard to find them. But um, but yeah. So I, I, I keep my eye, eye out for those as well when I when I find them, and they can go for pretty cheap. So that's my haul. 
Nice. All right, man. So uh, let me see, man. Uh, Steve, man, I know I we, you, you got forgotten in the last episode, bro. So I want to. Did we forget him? You, I'm going to yeah. throw him up in here. Get it's, muted now, bro. Yeah. Let's next. 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 Bam. Back Can in. we get him for Christmas a microphone? I don't know why it just put me out, man. But I'm back in, in full effect. Uh, I got some uh, Frankie goodness. Something's killing the children. Some Ken Lashley uh, virgin uh, sets. Ken Lashley is a beast. Man, he's been pumping these ones out, man. These things look amazing. And then uh, some other Frankie goodness. My uh, Darth Mauls came in. Oh, Ooh. Nice. oh damn, bro. Look at you, man. Some and then bus. some peachy. You know, peachy. You, you know, I love Frankie's, but those came quick for Frankie. Oh man, yeah. look at that! Yeah. Yeah. Well, they they are so. Oh yeah, look at Virgin's nice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Very, very oh, good. That's a nice pose. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, get over here, girl. I yeah, know, right? Bring, bring that ass. Trade. Bring that ass. I know. Yeah, yeah. You, you did that one fast. Like, oh, don't want to get banned from YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep that one from your nephew. Keep it away from your nephew. <laughs> He's too young, man. He's too young. You don't know what that looks like. <laughs> But that's it, man. I, that's what I got. What? what what's? Uh, who's the next person? It's up to you, bro. Oh, come on. Let's see. Let's see what Rogue's Law got. Let's see, Jr. Uh, you got dinner for my mom. So we got a couple <laughs> things. We got a <laughs> <laughs> maybe some dessert. <laughs> I'm fucking starving, to be honest. Uh, seven to eternity, number fifteen. I think it is fairing cover. But I was talking that's about a couple beautiful. weeks ago. No, oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's beautiful. Pick that up. Just because I saw it, I thought it looked cool. An old uh, oh, Run nice. Room 5 Psylocke David Mack oh, cover. Big. It's not the one that's worth like big money, but... Yeah, 10 bucks. Is that it. what you paid for it? Yeah. Nice. I, got, I got a deal on that's it. That's nice. Uh, let's see. I went to an old shop that I haven't gone in a while. And the reason the shop sucks, everyone knows goes there, so I figured maybe I'll find some good stuff. Uh, let's put it this way. My fingers were black by the time I was done searching through their stuff. You see black. it, man. Black let's from the it. dirt. It's Star Wars. Yep. Chewbacca miniseries. Oh, you nice. found some uh, Dark nice. Horses. Oh, yeah. Dang. Dang. It was That's like rare, man. 15 yeah. bucks for the set. Really? Don't see them very often. I've never yeah. seen them. <laughs> I've no. never seen this set. So Yeah, no. yeah. I had to pick no, that they up. were just sitting in the back bins? Those were in the back bins yeah. or on the wall? The, the funny thing, no, it was in the back issue bins. The way this guy has all this stuff set up is everything's in sets. So it's all mm. bagged together. Yeah. And you can't even tell, like, you know, like, you know it's in there. But like there's a couple sets I got that were damaged. There's parts that are damaged, but they're still good. They, they, I, that series might have been right at the end of the Dark Horse um, run before it swapped over. And that's probably why they had a probably a low print run on those, and that's Possibly. why you can't find them. Yeah, yeah probably. Um, I picked up one of these. Oh, oh nice. yeah, Valance, Valance, nice for seven bucks. Yeah, new stand, new stand. Yep, new stand, a reprint of that too. Yeah, that, that kitty cat's all over you, man. Yeah, when are you gonna, are you gonna rub it? <laughs> <laughs> she's missing her cuddle time, is what it is. I also picked up a. Nice. Can't go, can't go wrong oh, with very that. nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. For another I six snatched, bucks. Just stack those up. I think yeah. those went up. Yeah, I think so too. So this was one of the sets I picked up. So. Oh. Very nice. 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 Yeah, those are gonna blow up someday, covered. man. Those gonna that movie's coming. Uh, the one bad thing is the number four. You can see it's kind of fucked up. Oh, but yeah. that's a chance uh, I yeah. took. Spine roll. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also, you can see there's a big white. You can oh, oh, I see it's it. A rip yeah. uh, <laughs> it's a rub, but more or less. 30 bucks for the set. Nice. Not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. Whoops. Sorry, kitty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Holding on for you. Don't abuse that pussy, like, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll be, this yeah. last. These last they they are fucking up on that pussy. <laughs> Eric be like, damn, brother. Eric I had to pick damn. up, fucking pick up that pussy this up. Hard there you wire. go. Hardwire. Yeah. It was one through 15 for 
10 bucks. Wow. Mm. I'll take my chance on that. Mm -hmm. I would. I mean, it's, yeah. I think if DC's That's got any brains in them, they're going to start yeah. making movies of the characters since Static Shock is going to be. Uh, and then this will be the last one. I also picked up Icon. Icon. Oh, very one nice. You cool. For six bucks. But again, there was another issue in here that was all messed up. But like I said, for six bucks, I'll take my chance. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Yep. yep. Can't go wrong with that. I'll probably go back out there again and see what they've got. They just had so many boxes and it was just too much. Is it a bit of a honey hole, is it? Yeah, but like all the Star Wars was already pretty much picked apart. Picked, other than, yeah. But they had a bunch of old Marvel ones that I'll probably grab. Um, but like any of the Dark Horse, other than I, that Chewy and the Boba Fat is pretty much all I saw. Yeah. Good stuff, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was very happy. That's kinda, so, that, that, that place kind of reminds me of uh, Grumpy's, uh, Rob. So, you know? so I was a little pissed off. He's Grumpy's. like, oh, you found these milestone books back <laughs> Grumpy's. There. I was looking for them. Then he goes and proceeds to look them up on eBay. Fucking dick. And I'm like, I looked at him like, go in my head, better not fucking upsell those. Thanks for doing all the work, dude. Yeah, basically. So, but he didn't upsell me, thankfully. Because I'd be like, you can have the sale. I'll, yeah. I'll leave. Keep your books. Right, who are you so, gonna pass it to, man? Let's go with uh, let's go with the wrapping paper, dude. Uh, let's go, Nick. What do you got back there? <laughs> Merry Christmas. All right, Merry Christmas, right? Um, next time so, I need a menorah back there. I got oh, a bunch got of a bunch of this stuff. Uh, Charlie Brown. All this stuff, fifty cents a piece. This is all the Runaway series. Oh, nice! Uh, like issues four into like sixteen or something like that. It, they're mm -hmm. all all right, you know. Um, yeah. Stuff's cheap right now, though. The runaways. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Ian's got me buying Star Wars now. So, oh, bro, uh, what'd you find that thing, bro? Cool you know, so it's it's really hard to find. Did you find print. it? Did you find yeah. it over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you had me put this in my pool months ago, so oh, I finally just oh, picked yeah. it up. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Isn't that so. Cal Kestis's um, robot? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed to be the robot. It's on the cover. It's a second print. So what is that going for now? Is it a fifty dollar book now, or because it was yeah. once at a, it was a hundred dollar book, right? It, it's yeah. almost like an iconic yeah. cover now. Yeah, huh. they killed the character. So, all right, yeah. here we go. I got a uh, couple more things that I've been picking up. This cover, whenever I can get it. Oh, I love that cover. Yeah, 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 it's cool. This it's one's kind of beat. It's kind of got some stuff down here, but I only got I only paid five bucks, so I can't really yeah, go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Um, let's see what else should I grab. Uh, another another copy of this bad boy. This is nice for Sauron. Yeah. Yeah. This is the the doctor that becomes Sauron. Sorry. So this is the doctor who, if Sauron's in a movie, this will be the actual actor who plays Sauron. You know, so. A little bit of thinking forward spec, guys. You mm -hmm. know, um, and then this one here, I got in a deal. I got this oh, in. Yeah. Uh, oh, nice! In a giant group yeah. of uh, X Men books. It's kind of bad though. It's kind of jacked up on the back. I don't know if you guys want to see. You uh, see it? I only saw the front of it when I was buy buying the auction, and you know, it's one of those things where you're just like, "There's only one picture. Let's just take a chance." You know, price is and, right. Yeah, the price was right. Um, that's an expensive book now too. It used to oh, be um, pretty affordable. Yeah. yeah lots of. Um, I think there's several first appearances in that, isn't there? I think oh, three. Yeah. yeah. And there is, this is Emma Frost, and this is um, uh, I think it's or yeah, uh, Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride's the That's big right. one, right? Yeah. 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 Um. And it's an awesome cover too. Love yeah. it. You, you know what was well, jacked up about the whole Disney thing? Dude, they didn't I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, yeah, well, that's well, a great thing. So there's just tanning all across the back uh, of it. Yeah, I've yeah. actually been able to clean it up so, a little bit, but uh, it's not so bad. I don't know if you can see right here. Oh, this side. There's yeah. some tanning up there. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, you the, can the, press that. It, press that out, man. Take yeah. it in the humidity chamber, press it out. I was looking to get a. Uh, a 9.6 last year um, uh, newsstand, 
They were about three hundred dollars. They're about four wow. to five hundred dollars now. Really? So, yeah. 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 They they yeah. they just continue to go up. And then uh, this one, I got this. This was a six point oh. I oh, cracked yeah. bad boy. Nice. 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 Shit. Nice. Uh, but uh, good luck, as, sir. Yeah. Right. I don't know if you guys can see that there is uh, this top part right here. Oh, where to go? Right oh here. yeah. Mm. Yeah. You see that? That's all like all discoloration. Discoloration yeah. and stuff like that. And uh, CGC you know. is being a bastard right now on grading. Oh, they're assholes, so, man. No yeah. Stuff up and down the spine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't but, uh, help that it's a dark background too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter. I have one now. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to have one. You know, so I'm stoked. So what's yeah. up with CGC right now, man? They're a bunch of pricks, bro. They're just like <laughs> they are, man. It's like, dude. I, I think it was a lot of people were talking shit about how <laughs> easy CGC was grading stuff. Yeah, and putting out videos of how CB CBCS was a harder grader. And how their book would go from nine six CBCS to a nine eight on CGC and CGC to it. Well, fuck, fuck you, yeah, man. yeah, fuck it, you, bitches. Here you go. Here's your, here goes your nine point four, Rob. You know, yeah, it, co- it cost me about two grand. Fucking assholes. Fucking assholes, man. That, that's not a um, nine point four. It's just like my Shang Chi. I haven't got it back yet, but I had Nick press it, crack it, press it, and everything, and it looked better than it was. And it went from a 9.0 to a 9.0. I have yes. a lot of pictures of that. We should do that on a, uh, a stream um, no. where you can see the book has improved, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, I wonder if you would have just cracked it from CG, you know, CBCS and then just submitted it without pressing it. You know, they probably would have gave you a 8, 8.5 or something like that. Maybe, yeah. maybe lower, you know? Yeah. I bet All you right, Rob. Grade if they press it. My turn. Rob, all, right, all right, all right. Let's see. Okay, good night, folks. I got one toy. <laughs> I got He's... myself a, a pit bull. Oh, oh shit. Man. Awesome. Wow. Badass. Is that a reaction? Let me see. Oh, what shit. Else? Griff Tannen. So there you go. That's you what you have. got to be hard to there, keep huh? in good shape. Yeah. 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 There's a little nick right here on the. Fucking, uh, little thing right yeah, here. the but, packaging because uh, all those like corners. Why don't you make like out. a tree and get it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> give him an Amazon box. They keep pretty good shit from Amazon. So, all right, books, books, a little Department of Truth, a little baby cover. Oh, you got Whoa, that? Huh? That's nice, a, man. Baby yeah. cover. Mm-hmm. Got me that that's one. That's What'd you find that thing, bro? Magic, bro. Damn, <laughs> nice. You have fucking Doctor Strange here, bro. Yeah. A couple of designer covers. Nice. Mm-hmm. Panda. Panda. He said designer. Miles. Oh wow! Nice. Pick it up. I love the one on the left. It's my favorite one. Yeah. 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 That one. Yeah. 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 Those are, good. Those are like, like thirty dollar, thirty forty dollar books now, man. It's crazy. They? Those two. Yeah. Yeah. It's cr- it's nuts. Good. I think I paid ten bucks each on each of those. A little second print. Look at everybody else. I saw that I one. That, I, I saw the thank you, and I was. Uh, How many? One hundred fifty-four. Two hundred. One hundred thirty. I think. That's Man. better than my shop. They're doing one forty. Uh, so maybe they'll probably be there for a while. I'll probably get it later. <laughs> you know my ass. A uh, little one in ten. Ninja Turtles. I like oh, yeah. that cover. That was a good one. Uh, <laughs> I think he's talking about your uh, little baby eating one, Doc J. <laughs> Doc J's like, fuck that book, can't yeah. come in my house, bro. Yeah. I wouldn't want it in my house either. Uh, just before putting it on the mantle. <laughs> I'm gonna part. mail one to Doc J now, bro. Like, here you go, man. Here's an AOK. <laughs> Here's second, from Second Prince. Bam. Nice, nice. Yeah. And I can mail call. Let's do mail call here. So I got me mean, a little. Oh yeah, you're lucky, bro. I'm like, what's man, the hell, I'm man? still waiting on mine. I should have bought one. It's Beautiful. it's really Beautiful. sick. Yeah, How much does that go for these days? Uh, Ninety bucks, hundred bucks around there. Yeah. Also, I did a little certificate right. on the back. Yeah. Did you get one? Did you get one uh, out there, um, Kev? That's weird. No, I haven't picked one up. No. 
Oh man, uh, it just uh, holler me on Instagram. I, I got a few. I'll send you one, man, for cost. You know, cool. Being, cool. You know, you're my homie, bro. Yeah. You know, because I know you can't the, get them out there. How much does the Wolverine one cost? Is that more uh, expensive? Oh, the banana. Yeah. yeah. And I got that somewhere around here. That's like four hundred. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that man. really yeah. pops. Say that one. Yeah. So yeah. Frankie's fucked up because they said they said they set my one trade dress <laughs> and, and arrived. <laughs> And nice they came instead of the trade dress. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, they gave you the virgin. I got the uh -huh. virgin too coming. They gave you the virgin? Bank yeah, error in your favor. Yeah, because this was the one of his 500 copies, right? The other one's a 1,000 copies. I'm still waiting on my fucking two-pack, the virgin with the sketch. That was supposed to arrive today. It's been in Indianapolis since Saturday, so I don't know what's going on with that. I it's wonder all if the time, all they say, mail. Possibly. But I wonder if the trade dress is in that two pack or, or another virgin. So I'm not I'm not sure what's going on with that. But get you a pair of virgins. Yeah, that they, that's about <laughs> a more. It's about a sixty dollar markup, pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah, that's 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 the, that's some of the good stuff there. And uh, I'll move it along to uh ooh, ooh, uh, the last we got here closing down. All right, man. So I got a slab back and I, I threw this up on my Instagram. But uh, thanks to Rob, man, he let me use his address because I didn't know where I was going to be living, like right now, or if they were going to send it back on time. But I got this back, man. Very nice. Oh, nice. I pressed man, it myself. That's, that's, the that, that's the one that got away. It's funny, man, because this shit got wavy again, bro. You could see it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was just yeah, looking yeah, at it. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, at it, it right wavy. now. I'm like, you know, yeah. I pressed it, so I, I shut up. So it I got like, wavy. <laughs> but they gave me a 9.8 anyway. See the bastards, dude. Oh, they you get that, bro. It's, it, you can it, see it, the waviness. Something <laughs> yeah. has to do with population numbers. Like JR and I were talking about it. Like they just don't want certain things to hit certain population numbers. But that's obviously wavy, like to the point where it is. you it is. barely yeah. move it in the light and it's you there. Can see it. Yeah, it's yeah, really I obvious. Looking, yeah. I was looking, I was like, why did it okay, I take it, and you know, so whatever. And then I uh, kept and then Kev kind of uh, he 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 sent me an Instagram post, man. He goes, keep an eye out for this. So you guys know I was yep. on a hunt for like a Boca Ton. You know, I was on, I was on a hunt for I was going like all these like used bookstores and shit, trying to look for that Boca Ton book. But then I, I came across this one, man, at, at a used bookstore. Nice. So it's I hope. it's yeah. You know, I don't know, man. Like it was just it was there, and it's uh it's a hardbound Clone War it's one second print. It came out like two it, years after. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's actually just a comic. It's it's the it's the original comic, man. I am you know? so down. You know, so it's 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 a total reprint of Clone Wars number one, and you don't have to pay a thousand dollars for it. You and know, you don't so, have to press it. There you go, bro. I, like, I, there's first appearance. Hardcover, uh, right there, I man. I saw one sold Ahsoka. on um, eBay, I think, for two sixty in good condition, like that. Recently, well, yeah, this, well, I'm keeping, I'm keeping this one, man. I'm, this one, yeah. I think I'm gonna get it signed. Get that great like Ashley Eckstein, Flip Ashley Eckstein, you yeah. know, pancake. Oh, man, I'm, but I'm, I'm an Ahsoka fan, bro. You know, so yeah, yeah. buy it back cheap, or... man. I know. I don't know, man. I just, you know, I don't. It's hard. It's hard to let go of these. This one right here, you know. Mm -hmm. But thanks, Kev, for the, uh, for the, for the, uh, the FYI on that one, man. So no if worries, you, man. So if you guys are going to uh, use, you know, use bookstores or whatever, um, look for those. And then, uh, remember, I, I sent this to you guys. Uh, this is my first time ever getting from uh, Street Life, Street Level LA Heroes, La Hero, LA uh -huh. Heroes, because um, they had that Black Friday sale, like buy one get one free. Um, so, bro, I mean, I got a bunch, bro. I got some really good books. Um, I think it ended up to be like thirty dollars for all these books. So. I got these, uh, you know, I think this is a second, number two, yeah. second print, nice. um, Virgin, right? Uh -huh. For It's free. It was, I mean, they were already cut. Everything was already half off at seven bucks, and then you got one for free, you know? So nice. um, then I got that Doctor Strange right there. Yeah. yeah or that, uh, uh, oh, um, that pops. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, uh, what, what's it, what did I say Doctor Strange for? But uh, Strange, um, Academy. Strange Academy. Um, then I got uh, another one Academy. right here. Yeah. Oh, wow, they're all Strange yeah. Academy, yeah, all, 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 all virgins, bro. Printings. Yeah, those for 30 bucks. Yeah, I, all this was 30 bucks. I, paid, it was buy I one, think get I one paid 30 dollars for that one you have right there in front right. alone. 
Yeah, man. It was just, it was a good deal, man. And then look at that. Another yeah. Strange Academy yeah, yeah. version. Wow. I just yeah, bought all the Strange beautiful. Academy versions they had and I with with whatever I, I got. Then uh I got a little null action going right there. Oh yeah, Tyler yeah. Kirkland. Yeah. Kirkland. Yeah. Dude, these are, dude, these are, it was seven dollars half off, plus you get one free. It was a, a crazy deal. Um, and look at that one, bro. That version. Wow. That's nice. it. The fifth printing. I might rate. send this back in. I might send this over to CGC for the signing. You know, it, it's a 9.8. I'm looking at it unpressed. It's I, I don't even have to press this thing, you know. So that's that virgin. Uh because just imagine if he comes back, man. If what if he I was thinking, like, what if he comes back in crossover or some shit like that? You know, like no, nah, he won't come back in crossover. I know he won't, but I was just thinking, like, but he's gonna come back and uh that book will pop again. So just if you guys got him, just hold him, you know. Um, then I got some more uh Thor uh number five reprints, you Damn. know. Dude, this shit was cheap, bro. Look at that, man. Oh, that's like a codex that, action going there, you know. Yeah. Um, I was actually gonna buy this from somebody when I was over at like uh at Frank Sons for like twenty five bucks, you know. Glad I didn't, you know. So yeah. Um, and then he gave me this one for free. They sent this for free, so it's kind of they nice. put a thing right there, like uh, duh, thank you, you're welcome, you know. So can't beat a free book, man, with uh that deal, bro. That deal yeah. was insane, man. And it comes in this box too. Which is a pretty That's sick cool. box, and I'm gonna keep these boxes, you know. So, um, yeah. I thought it was pretty awesome, man. But that's Major my little, uh, that's my little haul. I I sent you guys a link, man. I was like, y'all gotta check that shit out, man. Um, especially for those uh those um those virgins for um Strange Academy, you know. So, man, I feel like we're um, on a sweet dick show. I know we went we yeah. went along. This was a big yeah. news night, man. I you know. know we we had to, Mason. you know. So it was unnecessary, and we didn't even cover everything. There was no way we could. We didn't even talk about Ant Man. We didn't talk about a lot of things. So it's, yeah, I had to leave some stuff out, man, because it was just it was. Just the it, they were going on and on and on again, man. They were like, "Okay, uh, buy our stocks tomorrow." You know, it after is, hours. It, you know? it, yeah. Nat Geo even went hard in the paint. I'm oh, sitting yeah. there going like, "Oh my God, Nat Geo, Chris Hemsworth, ah." Oh. Yeah, oh. Will Smith. Say what? Hey, Will Smith. Oh, geez. I got that geo. Do you have no chill? They came hard with it. They just, yeah. Oh, we're not fucking they, around. Disney was not enough. Yeah, yeah Disney won't fucking around. Price on uh, Disney yeah. Plus, too. Uh, uh, what is right? it? Star. Star is some new service. That's what, what's going to cost money. They raised the price on Disney Plus? A dollar. That's what I thought someone said. Yeah, it's seven ninety nine now. How much seven ninety? That's nothing, bro. Yeah, I mean, how they'll began. probably offer. This is what I think they'll probably do, right? They'll probably raise the price, but then you could buy it for a year for a discount, and that's what I'm gonna do. You know, like or I you, did in the beginning. Or you get the premium when you get all the fucking movies from the movie theater. On, that being said, wait until Warner Brothers tries to retaliate, guys. This is a war. This war just started. We're seeing <laughs> salvos. Yeah. But what does Warner Bros. have to retaliate with? They're going to retaliate with a slate of 2022 products, you know, because this is this is Disney just talking about the future, right? This Warner is Brothers has already said, "Hey, 2020 and 2021 theatrical releases is coming to HBO Max," right? Yeah. Wait until they go, "Hey, Green Lantern show 100% confirmed with actors," you know. Um, we're going to have this other. DC show with actors. You know, they haven't <laughs> done that yet. Haven't you noticed though the pattern? Ma HBO Max dropped their thing and Disney went, Oh, that's cute. Here, let me let let me drop Liam Neeson's cock on you. <laughs> yeah, just here's a here's a shitload. That's cute. You got five films that are gonna be playing in your service. Yeah, here's like forty on but three I'm different just, genres. Just just wait. You guys have like Warner Brothers is just this huge, huge, giant, multi-million-of-year movie production company. They wait until the Harry Potter TV show exists. They can't do it yet because there's a deal with NBC for Harry Potter television until 2025. But wait until it happens, right? Like, as wait. Long as she doesn't, as long as she keep it off yet. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's gonna happen, right? Wait till they come out with a Matrix series, a John Wick series, or, or something, you know? Like, it's just, 
it, this is going to be a great time to be alive, guys. I just I'm so excited that we're all like giant adult babies. You know, we can just be excited about <laughs> can, all this. We can like, afford that seven nine nine a month. We're getting like Spider Verse. We're getting like all of our dreams coming true. Secret okay. Invasion okay. is going on right okay. now, guys. This is insane. Are we dead? Like this is heaven. This is nuts, yeah. bro. All I want, you know? all I want is fucking to watch Top Gun two, bro. That's all I want. I That's all I want. The fuck, man. Put that shit out already, man. Like, I've been done. It's Dude, crazy, man. Because in two thousand in in nineteen ninety nine, me and my me and my three my two brothers were like, all we have to do is live to twenty twenty and watch and watch fucking Top Gun, and yeah. we'll and then we could die. Watch it in Germany, man. Bro, suck, man. Hey, and Azor Tiger, man, I am not a I'm not a DC fan. I am an AT and T investor, by the way. But uh, you know, I am I'm not a I'm not uh, of a DC fan. I, I just think that guys, there's a back and forth that's about to come back, and we're just going to be the winners. Capitalism. This this is going to be one I, of the times where capitalism just is great. See, you know? I think someone else like Apple is going to step up, and War War Brothers is eventually going to kind of go. Okay, we fucking throw in the towel, and someone else is going to step up. Either Amazon yep. or Apple. Some Warner Brothers doesn't have the balls to compete with Disney anymore. Guys, they have they, the they, properties, they, they, but they, they have they, the properties, that, and they have the HBO. HBO. HB, like you guys heard all that stuff they were talking about. FX was talking about, oh, our batting average is so great, and we make you know seventy percent of our stuff is HBO you know seven. HBO has an amazing batting average. Like oh, that's no, no, I, I completely agree with you, but I just think the problem is, is that you don't hear, like it used to be, like when Sopranos was was big. It was like everyone's like every t- week, you fucking see Sopranos. Did you see that shit? There's so many great shows that are on HBO Max now. HBO's but, trying to compete, man. They're 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 they're, 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 they're going hard in the paint, bro. They're going hard. You know? Yeah, and they yeah. haven't had their next Game of Thrones yet. But once they get another one of those, so they they've always had one in every That's era, coming. right? That's coming. Yeah, and it's coming, yeah. right? So they've yeah. had a Sopranos. Then before that, they had the Wire. They got the Sopranos movie coming in. They, like, they had then they had Game of Thrones. They've had that one water cooler show every five six years. No, but they got spinoffs for Game of Thrones coming too. So. Yeah, they do. But they, yeah, but you know yeah. their game is right now, right? They're gonna release all their movies on HBO Plus to get everybody a taste of what they do. It's it, it's just a hook, you know. They more like just come in, get get the subscription, so you can watch some movies, and then you're gonna find all this like awesome content on HBO Plus, which they have. If you haven't watched Industry Man and you're you're into like uh you know investing, that fucking show is rad, man. It's so awesome, you know. The biggest like, thing. You know, it's they just got great shit. They got great I'm content. I'm telling you, Amazon Prime is going to take that spot or Sony or not the, Sony, Apple. Or right? Apple. The biggest thing with Apple and, and Amazon is they don't have the infrastructure. They have to buy the infrastructure. They don't have the cameras. They have to buy, you know, like Warner Brothers has all the cameras. Disney has all the cameras. They have all the studios. These guys have been doing this stuff forever. Netflix had to build all all that infrastructure they had to buy yeah. all this equipment and you know i think this unless unless apple buys sony or you know they buy paramount or they buy one of these people that have movie sets and movie productions and and giant operations right Hold on, you nick. just saw what disney just did it was insane hey, hey nick uh you want i think this would be a good time to uh, announce to uh the our our, uh, our youtube uh, community like what our next show is going to be Oh, it's coming man. up next Saturday. Go ahead, Nick. Pimson so, Hose. yeah, we are growing the Team Nerd Herd <laughs> network, guys. We are ever so growing, right? So we are going to be unveiling a new show. Ian and myself and another guest are going to be talking about comics. Like always, we got to be talking about comics, stocks, and cryptocurrency, guys. We're going to be talking about different ways of taking your money and putting it into other places and using the skills that you have uh, developed uh, with comic speculation on stock speculation and making a little bit of that, uh, you know, that fancy, uh, that Cash fancy Mr. Ride. Monopoly bu- bucks, you know? So, uh, yeah, check us out on Saturday. I think we're going to do it live. That way we don't have to edit. Yeah. We're going to be talking about <laughs> stocks. Because I'm lazy as fuck. I'm sorry. I'm talking with fuck. you guys. I wasn't going to call you out on that. <laughs> you know, 
Uh, I, I think we're settling on a name, but I think we're 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 so far headed towards you know cell phone pimping or or uh, pimping, sm- uh, smartphone balling, you know because Smart- yeah. uh, because you know all this stuff you can do from your phone, and uh, you know I really learned when I was moving uh, that you know hey buying comics sometimes it's not the best you know you got to move heavy boxes. And uh, so sometimes it's easier to buy Disney stock and watch your Disney stock like go up today mm-hmm. like it did. And I was sitting there looking at my phone going, ah! So yeah, let's 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 do all that together, guys. Because it's let's, crazy. Let's, me let's and Nick were talking. Me and Nick were talking about that Disney stock like in COVID, and Nick went and bought some. You know, like what one uh, one oh eight or whatever, you know, or something like that. And yeah. fuck, man, you making money now, bro? Because Disney, st- Disney, is, it's gonna. I think it's gonna. It's been on the. It's been on that threshold of 150, 152. I, I think it's busting 160 tomorrow, man. With all that shit, yeah. my my you know? portfolio is up 60 percent, guys, since 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 starting. So your portfolio oh, wow. could be up like that too. You know, we we can talk about growth stocks. You guys can show me what's up, and uh, we'll we'll even go over some technical analysis. You know, I'm I'm working on charting. So, um, so what what was the Disney stock before the announcement? So it's it apparently it's 149, now. 148. Um, oh, okay, so it hasn't gone up. Oh, okay, mm. it went about five percent today, I think, or something like that. Uh, oh, I guess Disney. it's okay. Yeah, but so in the beginning, like, just think, man, just think like if uh, so, 4%, Dis- a little over four percent. So Disney Disney hit a hit a, a super low like around March. It was like in. Mm. I think, it, I think it was at 79 bucks was the lowest. And I saw that 79, man. It started creeping to 82. And I was like, fuck this. I'm buying 100 shares. <laughs> you know? And I kept my shares, man. It's about at a 150 now. And I can tell these guys, man, my stop is 300, man. I'm, I'm riding this motherfucker all the way out. You know, like, I think Disney has a chance, man. Like, with all this, in, if, if you can look at, if you look at Disney, man, like, they still made money during COVID. You know, like they were still a profitable company, man. Sure. You know, just imagine like when yeah. COVID ends, like these the, the fucking Disney's it's gonna rule the world, bro. Like, you know, like it's already kind of ruling, you know. So Guys, Netflix's um, stock is almost five times Disney's stock. Okay. Ask yourself, yeah. did you grow up wearing Netflix pajama pants? Did you nope. grow up with Netflix, you know, um, I don't know, mattress covers and stuff like that? No, it was Disney stuff. So there's a lot of money to be made right now. You know, I, I, it's, it's, yeah, right. Netflix is extremely overvalued. When's the last time you watched something good on Netflix? Guys, yeah. that, like uh, Umbrella uh, the Academy? Kevin, the Kevin right? Hart, the Kevin Kevin, Hart comedy yeah. special. Yeah. Great yeah. comedy yeah. special. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And they might reinstate their dividend, uh, Doc J. You know, so I want to get Doc so J. Once the, the parks show. open like- up, you know, they might reinstate their dividend. And if you want a dividend, AT and T guys, AT and T. It's only thirty dollars a share, guys. Thirty dollars a share. Netflix is five hundred dollars a share. Disney is one hundred fifty dollars a share, and they're all competing in the same streaming yeah. service. But AT and T has five G and like provides people the cable and provides people cell phone service. It's it's a no brainer, guys. I'm, I'm all about I'm, I'm I'm all about coattail stocks, man. You know, like uh, AT and T, like Neo coattails tesla like coattail scott stocks you make money off them bro like you don't have to buy the bit tesla for 6.99 whatever it is right now buy like well, the coat stock the coattail stock you know like with, the guys with in the, second place with the covid um vaccine um, rolling out next year as well um yeah i think a lot of uh stocks are going to go up a lot oh yeah. it's going to return back to where it was you know yeah so so now is now is a good time yeah, but but if you guys tune into our show, it's gonna be on next Saturday at seven. Um, we're gonna talk about that, man. We're gonna talk about some. Uh, we're always gonna give like one or two of the shares that we like. We're not gonna tell you guys to buy it, but we're gonna tell you guys this is what I like about it, and this is why I'm buying it. And this is why I'm going heavy in the paint, you know. Like, and hopefully that can help you, and maybe you guys can help us by like, you know, putting it in the chat. And we all we all can move along together, man. You know, so that's that's our thoughts, man. You know, on that because. Like I like I always say, man. Like use your speculating tools to to translate to something else. Because you, I mean, Doc J. I know Eric. I know Azorus. I know all the cats up in here, man. Like you guys are great speculators, man. It translates other places, you know. Like why not, you know? So. And it's tough sometimes to turn these comics back into cash, man. I uh, like yeah. before we got on stream, I was space. thinking. I was sitting there going. 
my God, guys, do I need to sell some of these books that they just announced today? Like, and I have to like dig underneath stuff. And like, it's just so easy with stock market, man. Once that Disney stock, like, like Ian said, hits three hundred dollars, this thing just goes boop. And it takes no space, man. You know, and it's like you know the analogy, right? The analogy I could buy, uh, you know, like for you could how many can you buy of uh, you know America Chavez number one at uh. What is it? The, what's the name of that one? Uh, Vengeance One. Vengeance One, right? You could buy, you get, you go to eBay and you buy Vengeance One, right? But you don't, but the, you have to deal with condition and all that, right? But I can buy, uh, uh, if, if if it was a stock, I could buy that a hundred of those easily, and I can sell them easily. I don't have to post them on eBay, you know. I just hit yeah. sell button, man. Easy, easy stuff, man. But check that show out, man. I'm gonna turn it back over to our, to the host, um, over there, man, on the in the corner, Steve, to you know. What's up, bro? Like, get us out of here, man. We we're doing a spine tick thing, man. This was this was the show to of all shows for uh, Team Nurture Podcast. We want to thank Kev Collectibles for joining us. Thank you so much, sir. And um, we're gonna go ahead and round it up, and we're gonna go ahead and say, if you want to do it right, collect what you like. See us next time, Saturday, Boom. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> You'll see Peace me y'all. Saturday, though. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.